find out what was going on last week. Um, basically, uh, we started our uh, adventure, and it's kind of not important how it did get started, but we were escorting this um, this wagon um, as one of those like random hired adventuring bands, and it got attacked by goblins. Some of us almost died. Um, and then we were wondering what to do with the hell with this wagon. We just know where it's supposed to go. Um, and the, the people that we were doing this job for were killed in the attack. So it's like, mm. one of them was dragged off and the other disappeared. Yeah. So you do not know that either of them are dead or alive. Well, I think one, one of them is more alive than the other one. One of them was unconscious being dragged off, the other just disappeared. One of these things is more alive than the other. So, are we ready? Oh, and also, so we got to town, um, and basically we walked in, and we looked at some buildings, and we saw the inn, and we're, like, standing in front of the inn. Uh, what's yes, it called? That's, that's exactly what I was about to say, because I'm what's the DM, it? Mike. Well, I was just recapping what we did. I was still in recap mode too, man. But what did what uh, is the sign in front of the inn? Yes, there is of course a sign in front of the inn. No, I said what is the sign? What does it oh, say? Oh, they said is there a sign? I can't remember. <laughs> Hello. I hear you. I ha I have to wrap. Oh, okay. I was just checking. I was like, no, <laughs> I had, I had nothing to from anyone. I had to grab the the uh, picture that has the names on it. It is the, the Stone Hill. Hill. Stone Hill Inn. Yeah, now, I read it. Now. Are you looking at what I'm looking at? No, I'm looking at uh, the map, and I'm looking at what I wrote down over here on this other paper. Good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, just I don't. Want to make sure I didn't book. actually share the map with everyone because that would be unfortunate. Then you'd you know shared the it map. Is. It just shows the buildings. Yeah, stuff. I showed the blank map. I yeah, have another yeah. map too. Okay, all right. Um, okay, so so yes, that is the Stonehill End. And what time of day is it right now? Uh, it was about. Let's see. It took you a couple of days to get. I'd say it's probably middle of the afternoon right now. And what's the weather outside like? It is fair and sunny. Fair and sunny. All right. So we kind of. So uh, the people you've been going by have been giving you strange looks. Uh, anyway, okay, well, anyway, we looked around the town real quick in the center, and then we I kind of led everybody, I guess, to this place. And then I turn and I say, uh, I'm going to go talk to the innkeeper. Uh, is anyone interested in coming with? I think I'm going to try to locate some of this, this uh, Barthens provisioners. Yeah? Um. Is there a stable next to the inn? There is an inn. I mean, a stable at the inn, yes. <laughs> there is an inn at the stable. Well, I have to go talk to the innkeeper anyways, so. I'll go. Anyone else? I, I really don't have anything I need to do. Um, I was just kind of... I'm just I'm just along for the ride at this point, seeing uh, how you guys want to handle this whole deal, I guess. Well, I... I think it is it's in my opinion that uh you know as far as when we go back I don't have a strong opinion but I think that we should probably finish up with okay see okay out of character so I'm recapping real quick uh my character last time had talked about uh going to um excuse me the uh the provisioners and go ahead and selling the provisions or whatever uh, with something to do with the uh, um, the town master or some really some third party um, to be sure that the the job gets done and then going and looking for um, looking for the people. So we you know he basically was going for we'll do this while we're there. It take us a few hours, and then we'll go back because, I mean, a few hours wasn't going to make a difference. Um, that was the gist. So, But would you want to travel through the forest at night? No. I don't know. Because it's mid-afternoon. If it takes you a few hours, it'll be evening when you're leaving. I, I don't know. I was going to just 
wait and see what everybody wants to do. Um, Fair enough. Okay. Uh, well, I'll, I'll I'll give you this much. I'll cast my vote for not going after whoever was dragged away in the woods. And my reasoning is not because he looked like he could defend himself or that he could get out of the situation, but more his traveling companion has the ability to teleport. And um, I'm assuming he does too. And uh, that will make it so they're both fine because they can just Except we're whoosh. Except going to track them. Except one's unconscious and probably bleeding out right now. We can track them and see... That's our only lead right now is to track them. Maybe we find something out here in town, but uh, I mean, right now, tracking the the dragged person and in, in the footsteps, it's not like two days is going to make a difference for that for the for tracking. I guess. Oh yeah, you know what we could will make a difference for tracking. What we could do, uh, we could really quick just ask people in town if they know who these people are. Or do you want to just go straight after him and not bother with no, that? No, I, I think staying in town to do that is probably a good idea. I think that's worth our time. But I, I'm of the opinion that, you know, we should also track or make some sort of attempt to track where they went. And by they, I guess I mean the only one who was dragged away. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Um, okay, so we're parked near the inn, right? Yeah, I got or two right wagons outside the inn. The inn. You are right outside of the inn. Do I notice anyone looking at us suspiciously? Well, I mean, people are looking at you because you're strangers in towns with two carts. That's about it. Okay, so it's hard to tell. Okay. Um, and one of the carts smells like dead body. Wait, why? What? You guys are carrying two dead bodies with you. I forgot about that. Yeah. Um, Arthur, what's your character's name again? Is that Rex? N no, that's nope. Lazarus. Okay. Yep. Uh, I gotta put this down on paper here. I am actually Sorry. surprised you didn't just bury their bodies. Well, I'm surprised we didn't burn them. I... But, you were the one that suggested that we take them to find their families. I don't think I recall take, saying take them to find their families. Yeah, I don't think That's... anyone said that. I think that <laughs> literally spawned out of nowhere. I can't remember. Okay, so, well, we I wouldn't be surprised if my character said we should hang on to them, but I don't remember what we did and it's only a day old so they're not stinky they are massive clues though as to the identities of whoever hired them maybe um, well you know that you know the two guys names who hired you yeah well yeah yeah that's that's no problem anyway uh so uh lazarus so you're gonna go to the stable right is that what you're saying or are you talking to the innkeeper well the innkeeper probably also runs that so okay fair enough so you're both uh, going to go in yes yeah we go in and um right, so look, in i don't know what kind of doors they are but i go through the doors the inn is a large is a large newly built roadhouse made out of field stone and rough hewn timbers the common room which is where you just walk into it's filled with locals and most of them are drinking and they are looking at you because you're new in the afternoon? Oh, yes. Sweet. Is, is Patrick Swayze here? Patrick Swayze is not here. I know it's a roadhouse, but no, Patrick Swayze is not here. And my boots make noise, I guess. Or, or if the floor is made of, like, a wooden floor, then yeah. It they is make made out of rough-hewn timbers. Okay. They make tuk-tuk sounds. Well, I guess the floors would be slightly less this is rough. Rough-hewn. Yes. Um, I it look made to out of timbers. I look to see where the uh, barkeep may be. Well, you do see a uh, large man standing behind a counter, and he is currently polishing a glass. I walk up to the large man polishing a glass. Tuck, 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 tuck. You notice he is a bit shorter than he looked from a distance. Oh. Um, insight check. Is it a dwarf? Uh, it's pretty obvious that that's not a dwarf. Okay. That's a human. Um, yeah, I just didn't know if it was a really tall dwarf. Okay, um, so I walk up, and I say, Hey, how are you doing today? Oh, hello. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome to my inn. I saw the inn is called the Stonehill Inn. Yes, and I'm Toblin Stonehill. 
Ah, I was getting ready to ask, what's it named after? Me. Yeah. All right. Mr. Uh, Stonehill, a pleasure to meet you. I am Jack Charney, and I take off my glove, and I stretch out my hand. He readily shakes your hand. All right. I put on my glove. I say, I have uh, a few companions and myself are new to town. We just traveled a few days' journey from Neverwinter, and we're looking for some general information about the town. If you could help us out, I have a few questions. Sure, what would you like to know? First of all, um, where might I find a Barthens Provisioners? Ah, okay, so you go out the door, and you just go down the road about, uh, it's two buildings down, it's a large red building. Okay. He, he kind of points in the general direction, which is north. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So I make two rights all the way down on my right. What? Is that right? No, you just go north following the road. It's two houses that, two buildings that. Yeah, if you, if you go out of this building you turn right and then you turn right again and just go down the road till you see a red large red building yeah two rights and then it's down on the right yes that That's is correct building. yeah all right um then uh, i have a couple other questions um where might i find um a temple of tamora uh you you passed it right outside there's a shrine of luck right out there in the ah. right out there I I didn't recognize it. I'm not a familiar follower. And then, uh, um, where might I be able to get? I he sees him scratch his face a little bit and like do the thing with the chin, where you're like thinking. He says, "Where might I be able to find uh, a barber and a bath?" I've been traveling for days now, and it's it's a little rough. Well, we have baths here, but uh, I don't. Paying customers that. only. Well, of course, you have to be staying here to have a bath. Okay. But uh, I don't, I don't recall that we have a, someone who just does barbering. Okay, I can do that myself. Then that's fine. Um, I mean, I've sheared animals before. Awkward silence out of character. And then I I, I turn and look at him. I, uh, I say, I apologize for my young companion here. Um, we've just been traveling for a few days, and we're maybe looking for some rest. So how much do you charge for room and board? Uh, one silver a night per person. Do you have any large rooms with discounts? Oh, well, we we have, let's see, we have four rooms open right now. However, one of them has three beds, so you can have that. That would only be two silver for, for all three beds if you wanted to do that. Okay. Um, here you are, and I hand him one, two. There's four characters, right? There's five characters. What? Four in our party right now. Yeah. Oh yeah, but there's I, four in the party right I now. I hand him three gold or three silver pieces, and I say, "Um, I'd like the large room and then one of, the please." All right. So he hands you, uh, he hands you four keys. These three go to the large room, one for each person for each bed there, and this is for the other room. All right, thank you. And uh, they have numbers on them, so you can hopefully figure out which room they go to. I quickly take a brief scan around the room to see what anybody is doing, like if everybody's just drinking, or if there's any anything. What's what's all going on in this room? Well, most Z of the people are drinking, but I would like to know what Albrecht's doing. Albrecht's sitting in the corner of the inn, just taking a couple drinks. He's by himself. Uh, did Zing enter with, um, everyone else, assumedly? I didn't say if he did or didn't. I don't know. I had asked if you are going to. I asked if everyone was going to. 
then I would go ahead and assume that Zing came in. Um, Zing would actually ask you uh, which room did you want, uh, Jack, as far as did you have a pre preference between the big one and the small one? Uh, I don't really have any preference. I would really appreciate having my own room. Here you go. He, chuck he chucks the key at you. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you for your understanding. I no, I'm indifferent. I'm just practical. It is the, the least cost option for all of us. Uh, Zing nods. Well, how is much there anything is, else I can do for you? How much is a uh, use of the stables? Ah, that's an additional five copper a day. <laughs> yeah, sure. I don't laugh in character for the record. <laughs> I just hand him five copper pieces. We do have that extra horse, don't we? Yeah. Out of character. Okay. Just checking. Well, it's extra because you have, you know, assuming you're going to get rid of one of the wagons. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't know what your, what exactly how the stables is working, but anyway. Um, I don't know that we would get rid of one of the wagons. Out of character, yeah, I wouldn't be looking to sell the wagon itself because, yeah, I'd probably be looking to take that to the. Well, yeah, I'd be getting rid of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, so I turned to my companions after uh, uh, we do some of this business. And I say, so let's. Let's find a table and sit down and get our heads wrapped around about what we're going to do next. Oh, would you guys right? like a, a late lunch or something? It'd be lovely. Sure. All right. <laughs> he, he kind of turns his head back to the bar. He looks a little surprised. He just kind of caught him off guard with that, and he's like, yeah, sure. <laughs> That'll be three copper for each person. All right, there you go. I hand him copper. I also do so. Find yourselves a seat, and I'll be out in a few minutes. Thanks. So my character goes, and he finds a table that has at least four chairs that has nobody else at it. I'm just going to go over to the line of the corner with the dwarf. Zing actually did does not accept the offer for... Uh, a late lunch and appears to be just fine to uh, just sit with everyone else for now. I'm so confused right now. What? Zing. Zing doesn't want food. I want food. You want food. Magnum PI probably wants food. No, yeah, I, I already paid for food. I'm not confused about food. You said you just go to the table with the dwarf and I. No, I mean, like, when you all sit down, I just don't get food. Yeah, I understand that. We told them that before we sat down. Yeah, everybody, everybody who gave him money is going to get food. The yeah. then that's, get money yeah. will not. I keep like doing signals like thumbs up and stuff, but it, like yeah, yeah, we can't we can't see them. <sighs> anyway, so whatever. Anyway, you see me going for an empty table, I guess, and it sounded like he said uh, he just goes automatically to the dwarf that's sitting by himself. I did not at any point say that. I said no, that I was no, just... No, no, not you. Not you. you me. Yeah. Okay, yeah. then that's yeah. fine. Well, Arthur's free to be weird. I'm just... I want okay. to make sure that my weirdness is coming from me. No, your weirdness is fine. Like, I... Your weirdness is totally... You haven't been really weird. It's totally he understandable. Have, he looks familiar. Uh, yeah, so... Actually, yeah, when you're going off over there, I'm like, where are you going? To sit with someone I know? That isn't you guys. I mean, you're welcome to come. Probably. So... That's... Okay. The, the dwarf over there looks familiar. I... Yeah, I saw you pointing to the dude. Uh... I'm just trying to have, have a hard time of figuring out what my character would do, because it's... it's out of character, it's kind of annoying, logistically, because I was just like, 
all right, let's go find a table, and then I go walking this way, and you don't even say anything, and then I notice you going off the other direction. Um, let's see here. What'd I do? Well, you're gonna, you guys are going to be waiting at your table for, you know, maybe five minutes, ten minutes. Yeah, I'm still kind of out of character trying to think what I, how Blackjack would react to just like, I'm going to go over here. See you guys later. I invited you guys. Only after I'm he invited. asked. Um. Okay, sure. I guess I'm just kind of... It's very obvious he's just kind of annoyed. He kind of derailed the whole... Okay. Sure. Lazarus just walks over to the table in the corner, then. I follow Lazarus to the table in the corner. What What do you, do you other people follow? I'm going to go upstairs and check out the room, actually. Are All you right, saying you, that you out loud? Check out, you go check out your room. Are you saying yeah, that out loud? Yeah, he says that out loud. Okay. All right, well, we'll be down here grabbing some food. Um, we really need to regroup and figure out what we're going to do. I won't be long. I'll be down in a second. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. We're already getting uh, distracted anyways. All right, so uh, Fireball Rex and Blackjack follow Lazarus to this other table. All right. Descriptions time! Albert, we need to know what you look like. And he knows what we look look like. Yes, he does, but I would like to Uh, know. Yeah, that's fine. Any (laughs) order is fine. He's about four feet tall, got crazy long brown hair, but a pretty well-tended beard, as any dwarf would have. He looks relatively clean, but just in general, like, he doesn't really care that much about his appearance. What are you wearing? He's wearing a simple brown cloak and brown and green vestments. Okay. Hey, can you do a favor and turn up your microphone a little bit? With me? No. Um, Jacob. Jacob. Oh. Yeah, I I feel like he's quieter than everybody else, but I don't actually think it's because you can adjust his volume in Discord. You just right click him, and there's a volume control. Oh, okay. Don't yeah, worry about you can just turn it. Up. Okay, speak again there. He's got very long, dark brown hair. He's tan skin, okay. relatively clean beard, but the hair is messy. Got yeah. It. Brown cloak and brown and green vestments. Yep, he sounds fine at two hundred percent volume. Yeah, yeah, that's what I did. Um, All right, so, what about the rest of you? You got Lazarus with his brown hair tied up into a small ponytail. Uh, he still got his chainmail on, and an arming shirt underneath that. Just really commoner's clothes. Dark or brownish. Brownish and green. Some nice boots. Some nice boots. Yep. Well, you see an older figure behind that teenager um, that wears a wide brim deerskin fedora. Uh, it's a little bit wider than a normal fedora, under which exist two dark brown eyes behind rectangular spectacles above a salt and pepper five-day goatee uh, with a physically and emotionally weathered visage. Inside his butt, he in inside the buckskin trench coat that he wears. Oh no, he just wears a buckskin trench coat. Um, and then uh, da 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 da. He has a belt that you can see. That seems to maybe have a few pouches on the side, as well as what appears to be uh, just on the side of it and poking down beneath it, a scabbard. Uh, You see that he wears a simple brown flax shirt with uh, also just a a vest over the top of it, and wearing uh, slightly oversized linen pants that tie at the bottom, uh, just at the top of his leather boots. That seem to be well cobbled. 
Um, you see that he wears a large backpack with a small quiver tied to the bottom, or three small quivers tied to the bottom. Excuse me. A uh, uh, what do you call it? A um, that opens doors. Shit, mind blank. Um, a crowbar attached to one side of the backpack and another quiver on the other side of the backpack. Um, let's see here. He's not of any particular eminent stature, nor is particularly intimidating build. He's average at best, and uh, at best at height and uh, girt. He walks with a purpose, it seems. And you, you oh yeah, uh, he didn't do that yet. So yeah, he seems to walk with a pretty uh, well-disciplined gait. I mean, he, it's quite clear that he's older. He's not old, but he is definitely older. Okay, um, so are you, are you done? Uh, yeah, that's what he sees, so I'm gonna... Out of character, I'm waiting for them to say hello to each other. Well, anyway, well you, know. you see, Rex, Rex is there, too. He's a slightly yeah. bored guy standing in the back wearing jeans and a Hawaiian shirt. That's what he's wearing. <laughs> God, the person that's not here looks like this. He looks, he looks like Tom Selleck. Just, oh, yeah. Yeah. no, that's yeah, that's what you look like. Happy orc, happy pirate orc. That would be the half orc, yes. But Rex looks like Tom Selleck. Actually, I don't think I think Travis said he looked like someone else, but right now he looks like Tom Selleck. Yeah, he hasn't seen his new icon yet. Okay. Hey. Now you know what each other looks like. Hey, I'll... You're Albrecht, right? Dwarf looks up to you and for a second just flashes you a smile before realizing who you are. You've grown. Yeah, I have. I haven't seen you in like... Three, four... It's been a while. Indeed, it has. So, uh, what are you doing in uh, Fandalen? And I've been a traveling preacher these past few years. Stopped here to get a few drinks, resupply, that sort of thing. Oh, and like Lazarus is already taking a seat and like ushering his friends to sit down. Yeah, you'll see me sit down. Yeah. We're. Uh, I set my backpack by my side at the on the bottom of the floor. We're here because. Uh, I was doing a, a job with these guys, and uh, our employer sort of got kidnapped or teleported off. It's kind of weird. So now we're getting the stuff here and going back out to say hello or try and find them. It sounds yeah. terrible. Any way I could help? Uh, any good at finding people that get dragged off in the woods? Tracking would be helpful. You hear the stranger say. Not particularly, but I'm good at smashing things, and I can always fix them back up. You see, that is a good skill for us to have. Namely because we don't really do much smashing. Or slashing. It wouldn't hurt. I mean, it's goblins. Like everyone hates goblins. So, your name is Albrecht. Did I hear that right? Yes, Albrecht. Albrecht. Uh, you see him take off his right hand glove. He says, "My name is uh, Jack Charney." Uh, as everybody has a hard time pronouncing the second one, so you can just call me Blackjack. And he offers his hand to shake hands. Albrecht shakes your hand and says, Albrecht Silverhelm, life cleric of Shantea. Shantea. Uh, out of character, knowledge check to see if I know what Shantea is. Well, then you give me a knowledge religion check. 
Uh, 1d20 plus that. Oh, sweet. Oh, I'll have to actually look up information for you then. All right. In the meantime, um, I'll say, oh, yes, I'm familiar with and insert him or her or it. And then uh, let's see here. I'm trying to think of what I would say. How old does that character look? Which character? Uh, Albrecht. He looks relatively young for a dwarf, which is around 50 or so. Okay, so he looks like a young dwarf. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, no. Bless you or something. Um, and then, uh, I mean, dwarfs are kind of like humans, but they just continuously get older. So, anyway, it's not a big thing. Um... What is this? I see messages and stuff. What's so yeah, funny? Ross is trying to do my job. Ross is trying to do your job. No, no. Just the picture. Oh. Oh, shut up. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> I don't think uh, RuPaul works for that. <laughs> See, this is this is why you need to do video of people and all the stuff, uh, because they won't know why we're laughing. Anybody who watches it will be like, "What are they laughing at?" Uh, anyways, picture of Shantaya. Google it. Okay, there it is. Um, or I could just take the picture and put it on stream for like five seconds, which is what I did. Oh, okay. Okay. Good. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. I don't know. Um, I still think we need to show everybody just like on cams because it's a lot funnier that way. But anyway, well, that's a different story. Um, so I'm there and we're all there. And uh, I say to him, did you order? Well, actually, I'm, I'm out of character. Do you have food in front of you or just a beer? Just a drink. Did Have you eaten? Relatively recently. All right. Well, we're ordering food right now. Um, when our friend gets back down from his room, we can kind of fill you in on some of the details. Sounds great. All right. So we wait, I suppose. Oh. I just whispered to myself. <laughs> you do not whisper to yourself. You told everyone, sort of. We wait for, uh, what's oh, his name? It's the stupid invisible enters. Ignore that. <laughs> Since you can't delete posts in Roll20. I, I don't have to ignore that. Well, you don't, but everyone else does. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, we could do all of our, like, RP crap and general chat if you want to, if that'd be easy. I mean, I could just say He's just it. posting information for me, yeah. I per probably would have addressed Shantae as the great mother out of respect and all that jazz. <clears throat> Let's see if this one does the same thing. Yeah, oh, anytime you put a space in there, it's anytime you put a space or it's so long, it'll do stuff. Well, you got most of that one. Yeah. I got all of it, actually. Well, yeah, you got all of it, but everyone else got <laughs> half a sentence. Yeah. Um, so we wait for, uh, uh, Zang. Korchnoi, uh, Zang, yeah. Also, the symbol of Shantae is a bushel of wheat tied with a ribbon. Okay. So we wait, wait, <clears throat> we wait for Zang, we wait for Zang. Cool, I'm waiting for potato. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, what were you waiting for me for? I went oh, upstairs. Okay. It's a void of blackness because it has not been described to me yet. Uh, Alright, so you go into your room that has one bed. Yeah, there is a bed. It's a fairly nice bed. A small dresser. A table, a chair with a lamp on it. Uh, it has a window, so your room has a window. 
And in uh, one corner of the room, there is a tub. Okay. Are there any rugs in this room? Uh, no, there are no rugs in the room. <laughs> Flip. Uh, does the bed have a blanket? Yes, it does. It has pillows? Yes. Okay. Um, can I try to move everything so there's a lot of, like, floor space? Uh, yeah, you can, you can maximize the floor space moving some stuff around. Okay. Is it a, enough floor space to basically be able to stand up in and, like, swing your arms around and not hit anything? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, it's Tai Chi. That's the reason I want a room by myself. So anyway, uh, once I've got that figured out, and it looks like I can meditate in here without any problems later, I will go ahead and leave and uh, lock the door behind oh, me. Oh, thank God. I was like, please don't tell me you're going to meditate for an hour while we're waiting for you. No. Okay, thank God. Well, while, while you are waiting for him, your food comes. It's oh, that's fast. Fruit. It's what? Some sandwiches and fruit. All right. Excellent. And he comes downstairs, right? Yeah, he comes downstairs, um, and then he uh, sees everyone over at the table, so he'll just naturally go over to the table and sit down and uh, see the new person and uh, go, uh, sup, I'm Zing, and extend a hand. You need to describe yourself to him. See picture. <laughs> that works. That works good yeah. So we're sitting there. You said it was afternoon. Um, yeah, it's like maybe three. Yeah. So. All right. So guys, we need to kind of make some sort of plan um, as to what we're gonna do. So we are in this place Fandalen uh and as I said that I actually turn to I interrupt myself um turning to Albrecht and I say do you know anything about this place not much I'm just stopping in the area ah okay that's what I thought you said I just was just checking uh so we're in this place that we don't really uh understand or we we're not familiar with it um, we know, uh, Gundren and his, uh, familiar friend, uh, do you guys remember his name? Start with an S, I think. Sildar? Yeah, Sildar. And Sildar was dragged away. Um, we can follow them. If we want to follow them as soon as possible, we can go now. That'll get us closer when we get there maybe early morning or so um after sleeping along the way we can spend the night in the inn and then get to it in the morning in which case we'll be there i don't know late or something um and then also uh we have the option i think of going around town asking what people know of them i think uh also we can go ahead and sell the materials um, and find a place to store the cart uh, for Gundren. Um, in the meantime, and, and the goods. So we can go ahead and sell the goods, make sure that the, uh, the money is stored by or held by a third party. They may need the goods sooner than later. You never know. Um, in which case, I think the uh, the town master hall will be useful for that, just based on the building that we saw coming in. Um, I have a little bit of business to do at the shrine, and um, yeah, that's. I mean, so what? What do you guys think about the plan? Uh, or is there anything else? Any other ideas? Well, we know they're paladins, right? So they might have actually stopped by the shrine on the way into town, or the way out of town, anyway. Okay, that makes that makes some sense. So I can I can ask while I'm there. Um.
Has, have any of you had any problems with uh, interacting with people in general? Zing nods sagely. <laughs> sagely? <laughs> like, what do you mean? Weird looks, uh, awkward silences, those kinds of things. Zing continues to nod. <laughs> and tilts his head to his side as if this is a good story that he's listening. I mean, not really? I haven't really been paying much attention. Albrecht? Nope. No problems? Okay, in that case, um, since you're the most confident in your answer, uh, I think that uh, what we can do is, when asking around about this and considering that you're of of the cloth uh when we go to the shrine you can maybe be the one do asking maybe you have a little more tact than any of us um or if we ask around anywhere else for that matter um i think uh to be most effective we can go ahead and split up and go do the things um See him think real hard about the tasks. I mean, does anybody have anything in particular they're just dying to be the ones to go do? Well, if I, I mean, if I want to be completely honest, I could go ahead and start on the... Um... Eh, that's a little dangerous. Never mind. <laughs> Probably not a good idea in Out retrospect. I was gonna say I was gonna I was gonna say uh, the thing I'm gonna be best at is tracking them, uh, and I can do my best to figure out how I to was start gonna doing say, that. Is that, is that what you, is that what you say? Uh, um, that is what I was going to say. So he doesn't but actually say that. Okay. Uh, yeah, he he holds that in for now. He's he instead says, um, when we get ready to track them, I want to make sure I've got all my uh, things together for making a map, so we don't. And I'm getting lost on the way back, and if we're tracking them to some kind of goblin lair, I want a map so I can give whoever runs this town an assessment of where these goblins came from that ambushed on you, us on the road. Oh, you, you mean like the map that I already have? You have a map Wait, to the goblin lair where all the goblins are at? <laughs> you see, you see... <laughs> I told you guys about this map. Cool, show us. Uh, I That's remember, extremely character, convenient. I remember, but okay. uh, everybody looked at it last time and decided okay. it was neat. And then oh, okay. everybody decided to not follow it yet. Oh, okay. I show the map again. Let's so see the map. So this is an exact map that leads to the goblin lair where this guy was abducted? Well, it is a, it is a rough map that has an X on a particular spot. Let's. Oh yeah, that they were carrying, right? Yes, the yeah. uh, the, oh, the lead okay. goblin that was mercilessly still, slaughtered. Out of character or in character, I say. Um, I still believe that it would be the best course of action to attempt to pursue the tracks first, because who knows where that X leads to? But it's not unreasonable that it might lead to some point of interest. But I still think. The fastest route may be to track the uh, the footprints, etc. Track the markings made by dragging the leaves that are down and whatnot. Uh, but to your point, Zhang, I think I was actually just asking uh, this gentleman Albrecht here. I didn't realize that you had uh, navigational capabilities on land as at sea. Um, so it is possible that you may be the best one to do that. Um, your skills may come in handy uh, tomorrow. Zing nods, uh, and then he kind of shrugs a little bit and goes, well, I mean, sky's everywhere, and when you're out at sea, you use the stars to navigate a lot, so as long as I've got a clear view of uh, the sky, we shouldn't have too much trouble. How good are you at tracking, though? Uh, stuff on the ground. Hard to say. It's been a while since I've done it, but it it shouldn't be as hard as say looking to the horizon and trying to pick out specks of what may be islands or 
vague shapes and port cities or that sort of thing. Um, so as far as just kind of noticing stuff and being able to um, discern locations, uh, I, I've got experience doing that and probably more experience than the rest of you. So either way, I, I, I yeah, I'll give it a Sounds shot. Sounds good. Sounds good. Um, all right, then we... It sounds like we have some sort of a plan. We know we have to go to the Barthens Provisioners, um, and I, I think we can take both carts there and uh, sell off whatever for the uh, 100 gold for the ledger. I think we take that 100 gold. We take it to the uh, Town Master Hall and see if we can't get some sort of uh, storage for the gold uh, proper. Then I believe we maybe go uh, to Barthens. Well, we also we also sell all the goods we found to Barthens, um, and then we can ask around town uh, for uh, any information on Gundren that and or uh, his friend that they may have. Um, does that sound like a plan? It does, and it, uh, honestly, I think we're going to get the best information from whoever he was doing business with in town. All right, so, then let's go, uh, if everyone's done eating out of character. I'll, I would uh, say let's go if everyone's done eating. Yeah. Zing see, uh, grins slightly and says, yep, I'm done eating. You see, you see in front of Blackjack, he didn't really eat that much because he did do a lot of talking, and he picks up an apple uh, to eat it as they go along. Um, as we're walking out, uh, I'm assuming everybody's walking out with me and st staying up with me. You see, uh, Blackjack stand up. He says, uh, you think we'll be able to just push the carts by ourselves just to push them to, uh, uh, Bar Barthens? Barthens? Uh, I mean, my stuff is still, you know, my mules are still tied to my cart. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, so you didn't put them away out there. Okay, I got you. Not, not really. We kind of went straight over here. No, that's fine. I knew that the wagons were still outside, but I didn't know if you ended up tying up the stables. Okay, let's just take them like that then. All right, to Barthens we go. We make two rights, and then the second building on the right. The big building with the sign that says right. Barthens Provisioners. You go down to Barthens Provisioners. I'll be right back, actually. I need to do something really quick. Okay. I walk into the store. Okay, you're in the front. This is a pretty big building, by the way. And, uh, it has a bunch of shelves. Just in front of me, in the middle of the floor, everywhere? On the walls, there's, there's shelves in, in the middle. I mean, it's, it's, like, it's, like, it's a pretty big store. Do you I see, see anybody? As, yes, as you as you are walking in, you see all the nice shelves filled with all sorts of adventure equipment. Well, it's pretty much it. It's mostly adventure <laughs> yeah, equipment. Yeah, I know. You see a lean and balding human male, about middle age. Just you know, he's currently uh, behind a counter. I walk up to this person behind the counter, and I say. Are you Barthen? He looks up and says, Ah, yes, yes, I am Elmer Barthen. This oh, is Mr. Store. Barthen. This is what a fine grand store you have here. I take off, you see him take off his glove and offer his hand. My name is Jack Charnick. He shakes your hand. Elmer uh, he puts the glove back on. Uh, me and my associates here have been tasked... Uh, to deliver some goods to you, as per a particular ledger, uh, from a Gundren dwarf. Gundren Rockseeker? Yes. Oh, that's great. Yeah, he said he was going to Neverwinter and going to bring back some goods. Is he with you guys? We have some news, but first we'd like to go ahead and take care of the goods, if you don't mind. All right. Let me look here. Uh, uh, yes. character it's a hundred i i know i'm i'm okay he's looking stuff he is looking it up yeah i wasn't sure i wasn't sure 
you see him flip through some notes and say, ah, okay, here it is, here it is. And uh, let's see, 104 gold is what we agreed on. And, out he, of pulls, and he pulls out a, a purse and just sets it on the counter. Out of character, um, my character is wondering, I thought he saw 100 gold. Is my character just wrong or? Uh, if you recall, the ledger says about 100 gold. About 100 gold. About 100 gold. It does not say exactly 100 gold. It says about 100 gold. <laughs> it says, uh, okay, that seems all right. Um, he tastes the gold. He said, uh, do you have somebody who can unload the cart? Oh, yes, yes. And he, and he uh, you hear him uh, shout to the back to uh, get some people from the back out there in there. It's there. Okay, they'll, they'll, they'll get that cart unloaded. Hey, Lazarus, can you show them to the correct cart? Yeah. I'll show them to the right cart. Thanks. All right, so you, you said you had news. So did he, did he, find, did he find the mine? Did he find the mine? What do you, uh, I don't know if he did or not. Um, we've got other news. Um, unfortunately, oh, huh? I said, oh, it's not that. Well, he, he, was, he said he was really close. Hmm. hmm. Um. So, when we were coming up here, uh, we were hired on behalf of Mr. Gundren to uh, protect him and his uh, goods and wares that he is bringing up. Yes, Unfortunately, yes. Uh, we were attacked, indeed, by a large number of goblins. Oh no! And he disappeared. His friend uh, Sildar, I think I can't quite remember the name, Is Sildar was Hall Winter. Um, possibly uh, was taken off by the goblins. Also, um, it was also quite a big f- taken by goblins. Yeah. It, well, I don't know. Uh, we don't really know where Gundren went. He just disappeared. He vanished, and so. Yeah, quite unfortunate. Uh, we were looking to see if you had any information, because as much as I would really like to say, yes, we've accomplished the task that we were hired to do, I don't think we would really have accomplished the task that we were hired to do, considering he may be in danger and still alive, because he disappeared. Well, so that being said... What, sa- what do you mean by disappeared? We, I mean he disappeared. He disappeared. Scorch marks on the ground disappeared. He did so, not. He was not incinerated. He just magically disappeared. I do recall that it was some sort of magic. He magically disappeared. So, like, he got teleported or something? That would not be unreasonable. Conclusion. Wow. Good, sir. I've never heard of him doing anything like that before. That is of particular note. And you see, uh, he sees uh, Blackjack take out a small pad of paper and start writing stuff down. Start writing this stuff down, like a little flip pad, basically. I, mean, I just came I mean, up with that just now. I um, mean, I've, I've known him for quite, for, uh, quite a while, and he, he, I've never seen him teleport. He never mentioned it. I don't think well, he can. What has he mentioned? You said something about a mine? Oh, yes. Him and his brothers are currently looking for the mine of the Fandelver's Pact. Mine of Fandelver's Pact. He continues to write stuff down. Delver's Pact. I turn to uh, Albrecht. I say, do you know anything about this mine? Not particularly. I'm just a preacher. Yeah, out of character, anything, but... when I'm asking when I'm asking him about it, I would like to know if I know anything about uh, Fandelver mine. Uh, actually, you would know about the Fandelver Pact. Okay, what would I know? Uh, that's I have to scroll to that. It's up at the very front. Okay, I'm just gonna read it because. Okay. You know. Okay, so more than 500 years ago, clans of doors and gnomes made an agreement known oh, yeah, as the Fandelver's I made a Pact. Check. I remember, yeah. Yeah, that's why I'm telling you. By which they would share a rich mine and wondrous cavern known as the Waveco Cave. 
That's where you heard the name for. Yeah, I wrote that stuff down. Here we go. And in addition to its mineral wealth, the mine contained a whole lot of magical power. So a lot of so human spellcasters aligned themselves with the dwarves and gnomes to channel and bind the energy into a forge, which they called the Forge of Spells, where magic items can be crafted. And it was real. It was you know going real nice until a whole bunch of orcs decided they wanted to kill everyone, and that's pretty much what they did. A powerful force of orcs, reinforced by evil mercenary wizards, attacked Wave Echo Cave to seize its, to seize its riches and magic treasures. They all fought fought against the orcs and the wizards, and the uh, ensuing battle. They fell. Well, well, yeah, they pretty much all died, and uh, even the location of the cave isn't even is known anymore. Yeah, I remember now. But it, it pretty much both sides, here. both sides end up losing. Okay. So for centuries, rumors of the buried treasures in the Wagamaco Cave have just kind of floated around here and there. Yeah, I wrote some of this down now. Okay, I saw it. Okay, so I knew some about it. Um, and then so I asked him, so was he looking for any particular cave? Yes, the Wave Echo Cave. That's, that's, that is the, the mine. So I'm, I'm asking that to him. Oh, he's like, well, I don't know where it is. I mean, he said no, they I were looking him, at some he, different places. I was asking him if he was looking for any particular cave. He said that the guy already told you he was looking for Wave Echo Cave. For, oh, for he Alfredo. told me he was looking for Wave Echo Cave. I'm back. I thought he said Vandelver's Mine. Well, is the Mine of the Vandelver's Pact is Wave okay. Echo Cave. They the Mine the of the Vandelver's Pact, yeah. I'd still ask him if he's looking for any particular cave. They say, yes, Wave Echo Cave. Ah, okay. All right. Um, uh, just to bring Ross up to speed, you see that... Uh, Blackjack has been taking notes, asking a couple questions here and there. Um, he says, uh, well, we have some leads. Do you have any idea where that would be? Any maps, maybe? Are you asking, do I have a map to a place where no one knows where it is? Well, I never know. Maybe, maybe you have more information than I do about maybe where it is. Oh, no, he's... Hey, look, he said he was looking for the cave. He said he was close to it. If anyone would have it, it'd be him or his brothers, and they're camped somewhere outside of town. I don't know where. But Oh. But they're camped somewhere outside of town. You don't know where? Well, I don't know exactly where. I imagine they move around. Oh. They were looking, they're looking for the cave, too. So they probably don't stay in one spot. They haven't been in town for a little bit, so I figure they're out there looking. Do they have any schedule? I wouldn't know. Okay. Does, um... How is his relationship with his brothers? Oh, they're all very close. Oh, okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Well, um, thank you for your information. Um, in any case, I do happen to have a large assortment of other goods that are for sale. Oh? With us. Please yeah. do tell. Uh, I list the goods um, that we have obtained. I say I have small seven short bows, uh, 80 arrows, eight quivers, small quiver. well, no, just quivers. They're just quivers. Eight small scimitars, eight small uh, leathers, and eight small wooden round shields. Hmm. A small, I'll, I'll a small arsenal, he says... I'll have to see them before I I could decide whether I could could get them or not. Or where are they out? Are they out in your other wagon? Yes, they are out in our other wagon. That I yeah. Well, I guess we should go take a yeah, look. Yeah, let's go. Let's go take a look. You all go out to your other wagon. Yep. I show him the goods. To your wagon. He begins scrutinizing your goods. Hmm. You see him frown a few times and then mutter to himself. As he as he is looking at the various items. After about ten minutes or so, he he hops down off the wagon and says, "Well, none of that stuff is in great shape, but I can, you know, since you since you're working for a friend of mine, I'll give you a twenty gold for all of that." 
I look at the other characters very carefully. Sure. Zing shrugs. Found, sounds good to me. 20 gold. All right. He waves his hand and, and a couple of workers start taking that stuff out. All right. Does he hand me some 20 gold? Yes, he reaches in his pocket, pulls out a small bag, counts out 20 gold, and hands it to you. I go to the other characters. Um, no, out of character, no offense to Albrecht. I give uh, Lazarus uh, five gold, Zeng five gold, and I give uh, Rex five gold. Here you are. Your share. Awesome. Okay, thanks. And then... Uh, see here um i i turn to look and i say we'll ask a little bit around town and i think tomorrow we will we'll head off in search of gundren to see oh please find what both possibly of them. have happened i uh, appreciate your business and we'll also i'll also take this bag of 100 gold to the town master do you think they could be able to store it for me i could just store it for you Insight check. Okay, <laughs> I would like to assist if that's fine. Okay. Because I have the same thought. Um, I need the assist roll. I'm patient. Basically, I'm inciting how trustworthy is this guy, really? From all that you can tell, he is very earnest about what he is saying. You don't think he's trying to, you know, swindle anyone or do anything okay. like that. Fair enough. I, I tell him uh, I don't see um, any of the other people in my party make any sudden uh, objections or urges to this. So I take you. It that... You do see Zing actually look like he was squinting at him, and then when you look at Zing, he gives you like a little quiet thumbs up. <laughs> okay, that's yeah. Um, I uh, say so yeah. Okay. Uh, you seem to be an all right fellow. You have a business here. Uh, it's very public. So yeah, you can hang on to this hundred gold. He hands it back to him. Uh, hang on to this until uh, Gundren comes back, and uh, we'll do that. In fact, uh, if you can hold his hold on to his cart for us, that'll also be pretty swell. Oh sure, yeah, I got room. All right. Um, I turn to look at the other characters. Oh, I noticed you guys had a horse on there. Uh, that wasn't yeah. his. Yeah, he had some ox oxen. Um, what what happened they to his oxen? They were crushed by a tree. Oh, jeez. Yeah, they were. That's that's unfortunate. Well, uh, I'll tell tell I'll, I'll take care of the horse too. And uh, when when you get back, uh, you you can do with what you want. I, I'll buy the horse from you if you want. You can always use another horse. How much are you offering? Use him think for a second. Wait, actually, does he know uh, the the two guys that that horse belonged to? He's they saw two dead oh, bodies. You, you, in you the guys, thing. you know that nobody's even mentioned the dead bodies. Yeah, I know, I know. So Keely and Feely or whoever, Hans aren't, and Franz. Hans, Hans and Franz. Franz. Sorry, Hans and Franz aren't aren't likely not from this town if no one's spoken up about them. Yeah. Well, let's see. I could give you no. I could give you twenty-five gold for that horse. Make it thirty. Oh, you need to give me a persuasion check. Ooh. Kid knows his horses. All right, I think I can do thirty. All right, I'll be fine by me. And he pulls out thirty gold, and hands it directly to you. Lazarus. Okay. Uh, As you were the one who spoke up, he assumes it's your horse. Yeah, it's fine. Awkward, sil awkward silence as Blackjack kind of looks at 
at uh, Lazarus. Zing doesn't even really say anything. Blackjack gets seven gold, Vex gets seven gold, and Zing gets seven gold, and I get nine. That makes sense. Thanks. So everyone gets seven gold and you get nine. Well, there's well one real I mean, he, he persuaded the extra gold out of him, so that's pretty yeah. fair. No, I'm not, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm just confirming. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, then I turn to the rest of the characters. I say, uh, well, do you need any help taking uh, that wagon and your uh, mules to the stables? Mine? Yeah. I mean, if you want, it's well, pretty simple. If it's very simple, then while you're doing that, do you have any objection of us just going ahead and going over to the shrine? No, you can do whatever. All right, just meet us at the shrine when you're done. All right. And so we all kind of walk down that street together, and then we make a right and go to this shrine. What does it look like? Uh, well, it's not very fancy, and it's not very big. It's actually made out of piles of stones taken from the nearby ruins. Kind of halfway building a uh, almost shelter-looking place. So is it open air, or is it a thing? It is, is, well, there aren't very good descriptions of it, but I believe it is open air. You do see a small flag with a coin on it, kind of hanging by it. Is there, uh, there, there is a, anybody? Uh, there is a young elf. Elf lady or elf dude? Elf lady. Elf lady. Um, I would like to discern if I know any special customs in approaching this shrine that I should keep wary of. You can't remember any special customs for a Shrine of Luck. Okay. As for approaching that, the Shrine, that is. Then in any case, I approach a Shrine and I just uh, take off my hat. And I... Well, what's the lady doing? Uh, currently, she's just sitting off to the side. Just sitting? She is currently sitting. Ah, okay. I walk up to the elf lady and I say, excuse me, miss. Oh, hello. Is this uh, the Shrine of Tamora? Indeed, this is the Shrine of Luck. Ah. Um, do you mind if I ask you a few questions? I'm not really from around here, and me and my friends here, I gesture to my friends, uh, are looking for a little bit of information that you so may be able to help us with. What would you like? Well, I'll, I will tell you anything I know. <laughs> I'm flattered. <laughs> uh, he, he looks like he's quite taken aback by the, the upfrontness and kindness. Um, he says, uh, well, first, uh, do you know of a Gundren rock seeker? Oh, yes. He's, he's a dwarf that's been around town for a while. He's currently looking for a cave, I believe. Does he come to this shrine very often? Ah, I don't believe he's... A, he might have been here once. Okay. A while back. I, he hasn't been here recently. Oh, okay. Do you know him personally in any way? I'm, I, I met him once. And, and he seemed like think? a nice fellow. Okay. Um, all right. The other question that I have is that I was recommended by the elders of Agama to come visit this shrine. Do you have any words of wisdom or anything that might be pertinent? I have run out of ideas run out of inspiration and what they said is if skill has brought me to no avail and knowledge I am unable to find then maybe what I needed was a little bit of luck 
Keep um, for a second. Looking for some consultation or inspiration. Well, of course, praying to Lady Luck is always a nice thing to do. Tends to give you some kind of inspiration. It always seems to help me. What kind of problems does a uh the cleric as I don't know a priestess of Tamora have? Oh, most of them are small problems, like we're running out of food and things like that. <laughs> the look on his face changed. He's not laughing out of character of laughing, but <laughs> well, it, things always seem to work out. Someone comes by and brings some food after I pray, things like that. It's, it, it all seems to work out. Well, but I currently do have an issue you might be able to help with. First of all, he reaches into his trench coat and um, asks, "Is there?" A donation box? If you're running out of food, that's that's some pretty bad stuff. She motions Alms. over she motions over to a small box in front. It's in the middle of the shrine. There is a small statue of a coin. I would There's also like in to insight like how truthful she is on that, because I don't necessarily ever ever know. She seems to be telling the truth. Pretty legit. Okay. So he walks up. He uh, does the one the one knee kneel briefly, and then such that no one can see, um, very discreetly reaches into his trench coat, and I'm gonna whisper you something real quick. Uh, yeah. Okay. And. He stands there for a moment, and um, he doesn't really pray as much as, like, I guess maybe meditates. Um, and then he walks back to her, and I mean, that was like maybe 10 seconds of just kind of standing there, musing. And he kind of walks back to her, and he says, okay, I'm sorry, uh, what were you... Uh, uh, referencing in, in some sort of help? Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. I have been tasked by my superiors to get a question answered. And, well, the person who knows the answer does not even wish to see me. But perhaps an intermediary such as yourself could bring a gift to this person and maybe, maybe get the answer. This is an odd task. Maybe somebody else here knows the answer. Well, I, I, well, I'll ask, why not? Do any of you <laughs> know the location of a spellbook belonging to the legendary mage, Bojentil? Do I know it out of character? Uh, well, you can make, certainly make some kind of knowledge check. I would like to make a history check. Then make your history check. You've heard the name Bojentil, and you knew that he was a legendary mage and very powerful, but you don't know anything about the location of his spellbook. Hello? I'm here. No. I guess I'm, I'm maybe the only one here. Um, no, I'm here I'm too. Here. I'm just <laughs> debating what to do about that. Um, then I... I I turn and I like I'm just kind of briefly looking at everybody. Do I has that name come up in my travels at all? Uh Well, if you're trying to remember something, you have to give me an intelligence check. I can already tell I'm not familiar with it. <laughs> and I, what what how do you get a plus nine? <laughs> you told me to do an intelligence check. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Oh, you mean with the modifier? Oh. 
thought you just wanted me to like roll the skill for some reason, and that's uh, okay. <laughs> like, how do you have plus nine intelligence? I was like, I'm because he's a fucking man. navigator. He circled the world, man. Plus nine. You don't have to, you don't have to re-roll. But I just need to know what the actual plus is. No, Level it's your modifier. It's nine. your roll plus your modifier. I'm doing math for you. The new number <laughs> is that. But you rolled a, a larger number than that. Okay, well, let me let me break it down for you, Chris. Oh, you have a negative one. Yeah, a negative oh. one. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, man, okay. Uh, no, they, it has not come up in your travels. Seeing nobody is talking uh, about anything they may or may not know, I... I turn back to her, and I go, you mean the legendary Bow Gentle? Yes, of, of course. I, I'm not aware of any other Bow Gentles. And so you know a person who knows where that is? Yes, we know that the Banshee Agatha knows where the spellbook is. A, a Banshee? Uh, well, yes. She doesn't of... attack people. Out of character, do I know what a banshee is? Nature check? Uh, yeah, go ahead and make a nature check. Uh, I can tell you what a banshee is, kind of. The easy okay. stuff. Uh, I'll take whatever I can get. Zing assumes a banshee is a spoopy ghost. Oh, it doesn't have information about what a banshee is in here? Oh, that's stupid. Okay, you do know that uh, banshees can control what they look like, so... Shapeshifters? Well, it's more like you know they're actually quite ugly, but um, they can make themselves not ugly. And they also really don't like regular people that much. They don't, they don't like people. They, they don't want to be around people. Okay. And around them is a powerful feeling of dread. Okay, shapeshift, don't like people, dread. They, oh yeah, if if you're rude to her, that that ain't gonna nothing. That that'd be bad. Polite. Oh, when that pops up into my head, I you you see uh um when I think about what a banshee is, you see um uh blackjack shake his head a little bit, and he uh he's been carrying his his hat in his hand of course the whole time. He uh, holds his hat kind of to his chest enough to uh, be able to pull off the glove off of his arm, and he extends his hand, and he says, I'm sorry, uh, out of character, I can't remember, I don't, did I ask what her name was? No, I did, um, but I can't remember. What is it? Uh, yeah, she said her name is, oh, geez, how do you, Grail, G-A-R-A-E-L-E. A-L, A-E-L-E, Grail. Grail. I, I, oh, that she didn't tell me who she was. She didn't. Um, she didn't. I actually meant to. She. Yeah. No, I meant okay. to make her tell you, and she didn't. Okay. Well, in any case, she did. She. He goes. I. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I totally. Forgot. My name is uh, uh, Jack Charney, Miss oh. Grail. Miss Grail. He uh, kind of shakes her hand and does the uh, the the kind of the half bow kneel hand kiss thing out of super respect. Um, and then he puts his glove back on, and then he gives uh, you a very funny look, like almost like kind of like confusion. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> um, out of character, I'm not courting her. I'm just of the ways of old, and uh, <laughs> out of character. And then uh, he I know exactly what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, stands back up, and uh, he says. So we take a gift that you have? Is that what you're saying? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, let's see. <laughs> she's she's rummaging through a bag that is sitting next to her. Ha here it is. And she pulls out a small box. And she opens it up, and you, and, uh, you see inside a jeweled silver comb. 
says, this is something I believe she might want. Ah, it's marvelous. Yes, it's, it's a very nice comb. It's a fine quality. And uh, he says, and uh, is, are there any special requests other than just asking uh, her for it and letting her know we have a gift to exchange for the location? Uh, well, the only thing I can say is try like maybe to use the comb and flatter her. <laughs> Out of character! Uh, or no, in character, actually. He he looks around at, at the guys, and he's trying to... You see him thinking very hard, and he looks at each one of the uh, the people in the group. And he turns back to her, and he says, Okay, try to flatter her with the comb. Oh. And and if you do this for me, I will give you three potions of healing. Right now, we're on our way back. Well, if you succeed, obviously. Okay. If if you fail, then you know what? I'll give you the potions even if you fail, but I'll give it to you when you get back. <laughs> so kind. Uh, where is this banshee located? Uh, do you do you have a map? Mm, uh, he has a. map. And I point to uh, Lazarus. My friend Lazarus here has a map, but I don't know if it's uh, of any use to this. Oh, well, it, maybe let not... me see the map. I'll show her the map. She looks at it and says, this is a very sorry map. <laughs> she says that. <laughs> that is exactly what she says. Uh, eh, we got I, I couldn't really pinpoint ones. on here, here where it is. Well, it doesn't sound like we have a map. If help? if you can if you can bring me a map of uh, of the area, I I can tell you where Agatha Slayer is. Of what area? I mean, I I can just where where Agatha lives. I can tell you where that is. No, no, a map of what area? What area do you need? Do you need Fandolin, or do you need a sur large surrounding area? Uh, well, it's over by Connieberry, so a map of that area. How far away is that? It's about 50 miles away. Oh. Do you know if the uh, store in town sells maps of the area? Oh, yes. Either, but both of the stores sell maps. Both? Both of the stores? Well, yeah. There's there's the provisioners, which I saw you guys hanging around. So I presume you might have bought some stuff there. Yeah. And then there's a the Lion Shield Coster. They, they're, they're, they are basically a trading post. Ah, okay. Well... Excellent. Um, yeah, we'll go give this a shot. We'll go maybe buy a map, and maybe you can point if it's not already on there. I well, I don't know why it would be. Okay. Uh, you guys... Oh, wait, Lazarus. Well, yeah, Lazarus had just arrived, because we talked a lot. Um, well, I just realized Lazarus went off. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So he says... Um, Excellent. I will be back shortly with the map in good time. Um, I've got a question. Yeah. To who? Yeah. Uh, what? What's your question? Nothing. Or a whisper. I was hitting the wrong button, sorry. Um, how did you come to find out about this Banshee and her lair? She, she uh, just kind of thinks for a second. Blackjack looks at her inquisitively. Oh, I was, I was told where, where, where it was. Zing gives Blackjack a look like... I'm not, I'm not the only person who wants this information. I mean, I told you, my superiors told me to get this information from her. They told me where it was. Oh, okay. Mm, okay. Yeah. I recall instantly that she did say that to begin with. Yeah, I just, I nod my head. Understandingly. And kind of, like, embarrassedly. Okay, fair enough. Thank you. All right, so we're off to buy a map. Gentlemen? Question uh, mark? Sure, I guess. 
I mean, if you guys have any, if you guys have anything else in town you want to do, you know, I can go do this. No. Before we leave, Albrecht places a couple of coins in the donation box, like three silver pieces or so. Yeah, as, do you do this obviously? Yes, very obviously. Oh. Well, as you do, so she sit, she says, "Well, may Lady Luck be with you." Um. I'll, he simply hmm. smiles and nods. You see, everyone sees Blackjack. Maybe think for a moment, and then he goes back up to the goes back up to the altar one last time. Um. <laughs> And discreetly does the same. <laughs> well, you're gonna have to roll a a, a, a stealthiness check. On, well, on I mean, he's team. just he's keeping it in front of him, basically. He's keeping the uh, keeping the box in front of him. He like turns around and looks around and, and makes sure that his body is. Okay, fine. I'll roll stealth check if you want yeah, me just, to. But just, just I'm not trying to be quiet. Well, you can, well actually, you can roll walk. stealth. Or deception. Well, isn't oh, there no. a sleight of hand skill? No. Well, oh, yeah, yeah but I'm not. I'm not trying to like slip him in quietly. I'm just trying to be sure that nobody's like seeing what I'm putting in there. Well, that would be stealth or deception then. Okay. Well, well it also could be sleight of hand because it's it's just stealth. I'm just trying to hide the coins and use my body to get in the way. Um. So slash gr one d twenty plus. Uh, I think I'm proficient. Let me check. Stealth. I gotta check the MRI out, because I thought it was, but I didn't circle it on here. Character. Oh, I gotta log in again. I hate this. See, you are proficient in stealth. Thank you. Um, okay, so yeah. Then I get this bonus. Shazam, and slash uh, Whisper GM. <laughs> you, you all, everybody here is a slight pitter-patter of metal on metal for about five seconds. And then... Um... And then I do the thing again, finish my kneeling, think for a moment, and then uh, turn around and and then we go, or I go, or oh, I as, say, as you are turning to leave, you notice that the uh, the priestess has a very shocked look on her face. After hearing <laughs> that, okay, um, <laughs> and then. I keep walking. Uh, I say, we need to go buy a map. Right? Um, okay. Sounds good. Map it is. All of you have a pretty good idea of what he just did. They do? Yes. What did he do besides throw, like, all of his money in there? That's what it appears that he did. He threw a whole bunch of money in there. That's what it sounds like he did. It could be a lot of copper or a lot of silver. Or okay, a lot it was a lot of coins. A lot of coins. Um, and then, uh, okay, so we go back to the, uh, um, Barthens Provisioners. I walk in, I say hello pretty um, quickly. Oh. Actually, as we're on the way back, Zing is going to, uh, be looking over his shoulder to see how fast she ran to the altar to see exactly how much money <laughs> they put in. She didn't even wait till you guys were completely out of the door. Can I get an expression on her face Hold after on. she looked at how much money was <laughs> in there? Can I get an expression? Well, uh, it went from shock to complete joy. Okay, well, that's good. All right, she started great. jumping up and down and clapping her hands. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> you see, Zig's just like, oh my god, who am, I, who am I rolling with right now? What the hell? All right, but he doesn't say anything. He's just kind of like blinking his eyes a lot, just like he smelled something that smelled very interesting. Blackjack doesn't flinch. He didn't even look around. Um, but anyway, so we're walking back on our way. Um, you know, I'm going to quickly and uh, um, 
with good and quick uh oh, quick uh with swift discipline uh briefly talk to um mr barthen and i say barthen uh we're looking for a map of the surrounding area uh of maybe, the surrounding area could you be maybe, more specific maybe 100 miles in radius 100 miles in radius let me see well i can let, let me let me show you our biggest map the biggest map all right well it's not the area is the biggest i understand <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> as opposed to the physically largest map <laughs> He shows you this map. Ah, excellent. How much would you charge for such a map? I think it will help us find uh, your friend. Uh, well, in that case, I can give it to you for 35 gold. Maps aren't easy to come by. I turn to look at my companions. I turn to look back at him, and I say it. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. Um, would you be fine with, uh, me just borrowing it for a couple hours? And give then bringing it back? Give me a persuasion check. <laughs> oh, I would like to assist, and I say, yes, that sounds like an excellent, uh, idea. Well, then I'll need your assist as well. Okie doke. Oh. <laughs> hmm, well... Wait, you're gonna copy it, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I can't have that. Well, I'm not gonna make an exact copy, I'm just gonna make a really quick copy for our purposes. Like you said, uh, it's a really nice map, you don't wanna lose it, you know? Will you let us rent it? Uh, let's see. Wait, what? You need to make a persuasion check now. Me? Yes. Okay. Uh, you guys are adventurers. You might fall in some hole. Then I lost we a can, map. Okay. We can stay in town. Uh, don't worry about it. Uh, here's 35 gold. He puts 35 gold on the table. If that's what you're... If that's what uh, finding Gundren is worth to you, then sure. He rolls the map up, puts it in a map case, and hands it to you. Okie doke. Also, um, I'll ask, I'll put the uh, little bracelet I got from the goblin on the table. Also, could you uh, appraise this? All right. All right, give me a couple minutes. And he, he takes it and then goes into the back with it. He appraises it for free. What a man. He comes back like two minutes later and says, "This is a plain copper bracelet. It's worth about a copper." <laughs> ah! I I laugh out loud. Surely it's worth more than that. The craftsmanship. It's more than worth one copper. It's bent. It's a bracelet. You could literally make more copper pieces out of the metal. Hey yeah, Jack, can I get the? That would take work. Hey Jack, can I get that map? Um, yeah, he hands it to you, uh, doodlefully. He kind of pushes the bracelet back towards you. I'll be in my room. And then Zing will quickly shuffle out of the building. Uh, are you just, are you going in for the night? As you're leaving? Uh, I'm doing my thing, and he winks at him. No, like, are you... I mean, are you just, are you calling it a day and going in for the night, or? I, I won't be sleeping. You can come by later. No, I was just saying, I mean, are you just, in, like, if that's what you're doing, then that's fine, and we'll plan on kind of doing that. But if you're not, I just want to know if we need to come get you or anything. I, I You can consider me going in for the night. That's fine. All right. Turn it in. All right. Okay, so Zang is obviously going back to the tavern and going to make a really goddamn good copy of this map. A good copy will take you four hours. Oh, we got plenty of time. It's still yeah. maybe five or six o'clock. I'm just telling you how long it'll take. 
I'm going to use all my and tools to do it, too. No, you're using your tools, so I'll need a check. Okay. He would need a check anyway, right? Not necessarily. But he says he wants to make a really good copy, so he needs a check. It's entirely up to me whether he needs a check or not. Let me no, see. Okay. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. My tools are not on here. Uh, just cartographer's <laughs> tools aren't? Irony. Cartographer's tool. You just get your proficiency bonus. Okay. That's In addition fun. to whatever skill, if he's gets a skill like intelligence uh, or wisdom, let's see, or dexterity. I'd say dexterity, yeah. I would say end or wisdom because you're trying to copy something. Mm, okay, dex or wisdom. That makes sense, since I didn't write it in the post. Okay, so you want me to roll. A D20 plus is like, two. Wisdom is like how well you can transfer it in your head to paper, and then dexterity is how fine your your motor skills are for actually doing the work. Okay, this is for wisdom. For wisdom! There, now it's on there. And that's for Dex. Oh well, no, it's one or the other. So I'll take oh, the, the first um, one. Yeah, did we take the first one? It, Definitely. You <laughs> one or the other. You don't get both. Uh, you actually succeed in two hours, and it's a very, it's a very nice copy. They look almost exactly the same. There's some minor differences in the way you drew the trees. Okay, so two hours rewind real quick. Um, yeah, I'm just telling you... them that will be the result. Yeah, yeah. Two hours rewind. Um, we're still in there. Um, he turns to uh, Lazarus and he says, "Do you need any more of those healer packs, bandages?" As you uh, say this, you see the store owner motion at them on the shelves. <laughs> we, how much? Are, how much are they listed at up there? How much are they listed at? Looking for a unit label, a price label. It's not loading the image. There we go. Okay, healer's kits are seven gold. And what was Holy the other thing? Holy shit. What was the other thing? I can't remember. That was it. No, one, you, said, you said something or healer's kits. I thought you said how much are the healer's kits listed? Yeah, yeah, he did. But you all you 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 said two items. Or bandages. Which bandages. was the same thing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, those are the same thing. It was okay, healer's kits are listed at seven gold apiece. I do have you a can, healer's kit, by the way. You can use them multiple times. I mean, there's plenty in there to use them maybe eight, ten times. Certainly worth seven gold. How about I'll give you 15 gold and this copper bracelet for three? Give me a persuasion check. 15 gold and a copper bracelet barely worth the copper. <laughs> well, whoops. Whoops. Yeah, whoops, but... Well, okay, I guess I, guess I can do that, since, as he, you know, as he says these seem that, to be nice guys. As he says that, to make him feel better, I say, we'll probably use them on our way to figure out where Gundren is. By the way, in two hours, I'm going to be actually coming back. Uh, we're going to probably be back at the end. I'll soon. probably be downstairs in the it's, end. But basically, since you've left, it's been like maybe 15 minutes. Yeah. I'm just saying, I'm queuing up action. Action is queued. Okay, well. I now have six healer's kits. Awesome. Excellent. Which is, I have 67 uses. I didn't realize out of character that those in 5th edition worked like that. They're a lot cheaper than a healing potion. Yeah, super cheap. Um, 50 gold for the same thing for one person or 
Five gold for same for ten people. Number of uses per encounter. Um let's see here. So I'm thinking out of character. Uh I ask them uh so do you guys need any supplies while we're here? Got your ten foot poles, you got your iron pots? <laughs> need any buckets? Need another backpack? Never underestimate the power of the ten foot pole. Yes, they're very, very useful. You can poke things from ten feet away. Won't get crushed by that falling rock. Set off that spike trap. I'm, I'm looking at the other characters that are with me being Lazarus Rex and Albrecht. Maybe a mirror you can see around a corner. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty good. Attach it to the 10-foot pole. <laughs> All of a sudden, the shopkeeper is, like, really interesting. He's trying, trying to sell you stuff. Goods. Yeah. <clears throat> I look at the other people, and they're not saying anything, so... Attach the 10-foot pole to a healing <laughs> Attach that to a, <laughs> a cookie. Pour it, pour it from 10 feet. <laughs> Does it need to get through a door? And he was, holds up this big old stick-looking thing with the handles on it. How about a portable ram? Get through that door. <laughs> uh, I don't really laugh in character, but it's funny. Um, I, I look at them, and they haven't said anything yet, so... I'm I look, good. I look back at the guy, and I think I say, I, th I think we are uh, of uh, substantial uh, uh, service for right now. Uh, maybe in due time we'll come back and uh, peruse your wares once again. All right, um, so I turn back to uh, the people who I am with, and I say, I am going to go to the inn. I think I will set up a uh, shop a little while, see if there's anybody uh, willing to play a few games while we have any more time. Um, and if you guys have anything else you want to do before tomorrow, you might want to do it now. Uh, I think maybe we get up in the early morning uh, and head off. What do you guys think? Uh, which what are you guys planning? What is which way are you planning on going? Are you planning to go oh, look for? We're looking for God Godrin, yeah, uh, Gundren. Oh. Yeah, actually, yeah, out of character, in character, I would definitely have said, uh, yeah, we're gonna go for Gundren. I think first. I think that's of more time sensitivity. Or it's a more time sensitive thing, so. Um, I think we get out of here, you know, say 8 a.m. right after breakfast. You guys have a problem with that? Not at all. No, sounds fine. All right. Um, so, yeah, I think uh, we've got a few more hours of downtime before uh, I have a few more hours before I turn in. Um, you know, feel free to do whatever. We wake up and let's uh, try to meet. Uh, outside the inn, everything ready at a.m. sharp. Ah, yes, and here are your keys. I each I hand them each. Oh, shit. I hand Rex and Lazarus key, and I say, well, I had already bought a room for the night. I bought one of the large rooms. I believe they have one, two, I think two small rooms left available. I can't remember the price, maybe five silver or something. Um, but the rooms at the inn, yeah. We bought one of the cheaper large rooms that has enough room for all the people. And actually, I will go to the room, you guys. I'm actually speaking this. I say, I'm going to go ahead and go to the room first, get a quick shower, see if I can find a place to it with which to wash my clothes and get them dried as best possible. Um and then I will probably set up shop and maybe see if anybody is uh, is uh, interested in a fine game of dragon chess. So uh, there is a washboard in your room. I will so you see you guys later. Character, well, out of character, he's gonna walk out kinda, and he's gonna go to the room. Take a quick bath, um, change out his clothes for his dry clothes, and then he's going to go downstairs to a larger table 
that doesn't necessarily have very many people at it, and he's going to set up three boards parallel with all the pieces and all the jazz. And that's... I'll probably also buy dinner for myself. Which is how much? Any cost or what? Chris? Dinner would cost one silver. One silver. Same as staying there a night. What? Oh, same as staying there a night. Okay, so one silver. Um, so yeah, that's what my character does. And I have to go use the restroom, so you guys can do other stuff while I'm doing that. Unless it's uh, pertinent to me, in which case, just wait till I get back. Is Has it been an, uh, two hours yet? Yeah, by the time I get all my stuff done and I set up my boards, it will be two hours. If you happen to pass by his room during those two hours, you will hear random humming of various sea shanties. Okay, that's pretty reasonable. I would use my pretty decent insight to infer that that was uh, Zhang's room. And now I must go to use the restroom. Um, probably during like. Oh, go on. Albrecht goes back to the inn, and how much for? He asks how much a room is, and maybe some food for the night. Well, uh, a room we have a couple left. Our one silver. And that's for the night, and uh, you can you get breakfast in the morning with that, and dinner is one silver as well. All right, he hands him two silver, and then goes up to his room, starts getting his stuff ready to head out tomorrow, and you'll hear, if you go by his room, you'll hear occasional praying, that sort of thing. Lazarus is just going to be getting some dinner and then probably going outside to the stables to take care of his horses before he heads up to his room. You find that your horses have already been brushed well, and fed. Well, still, he's... Well, it's mules, really, but he still likes it. You're wee beastie. Yep. yep. He'll still be taking care of them himself as well. Just more brushing. He likes it. Am I done now? Oh yes, you you're done. I bail the fuck back to that place. Wait, where with, are you going? With both maps, uh, to the place we bought the map from. Well, uh, as you leave, you see one of your party members just you know sitting at a table all alone with some boards set up in front of him. Boards and pieces like. 30, let's see here, I think there are three 8x8 boards. It's either three 8 it's by dragon 8 chest, or right? three 10x10. 10 10. It's a lot of stuff, really. Well, yeah, um, but it's dragon chest. Yeah, if if you know what it is, then you know it's dragon chest. Yeah, he, he recognized dragon chest. How uh, close is he, and who is it? Well, it's it's uh, Ross. Zing, Zing appears to be walking by you with uh, the map from earlier, and then another map that looks about exactly the same like size it's as unrolled. it is um no he's got them both rolled under his oh. uh, under his arm the two rolled scrolls and he'll actually see you and he'll hand off the one that isn't in a case and then just keep walking and be like i'll be back in a bit jack i'm gonna try to get your money back okay and as he goes out of there i kind of open up whatever this is i see the map and then i'm like hmm and i set it on the table and I go back to uh, looking at the stuff. What's uh, Zhang's passive perception? Because he was talking to me. What is Zhang's passive perception? Yeah. My passive wisdom is 13. I don't think we have passive perception. Yeah, yeah you, you do. do. Then, uh, 15? Yeah, that'd be e that'd be definitely easy enough. You notice when you go by, um, even if you don't know much about dragon chess, you know that something's off. So, like... On all three boards, you see um, a variety of pieces on each board, all opposed facing each other on each side of the board, right? And all of the pieces are, like, so the three boards are set up, excuse me, all beside each other, right? They're set up long ways. And then you see two rows of pieces uh, along each um 
along the long side of the three boards put together. So if you like put the three boards together, it's a big long rectangle, but you see pieces all the way down the side. You would notice one of the pieces of one of the sides is a peculiar ruby red color. And so most of the pieces on one side, all the pieces on one side are all white. All the pieces on the other side are all black, except for one, uh, which is a ruby red color. And that you would notice that. But anyway. Zing made some mental note. Okay, for unforeseen relevance. So you're going back to the trading post. It's just something peculiar that's pretty notice. It's reasonably enough noticeable. Got it. He goes back to the trading post and he uh, tries to find the guy that sold them the map earlier. As you walk in, he says, "Well, hello again." Hi. Um. So, uh, we actually don't need this anymore, and I was wondering if you'd like to buy it back. And he actually presents him with the map, which appears to be in the the same condition that it was two hours ago. Roll a persuasion check. <laughs> Even after I said I didn't want you to rent it. Okay. He shrugs. Well, let's see, you paid 35 for it. It's I'll in the exact it. same condition. He can sell it to somebody else. Yeah, yeah. For 35 it's a, it's a business opportunity. It was a quick, it was really quick, out of character. It was a really quick, uh, really quick return on investment. He's not, well... If he gives you back 35 gold, he ain't making nothing. Out of character, I understand that. I understand that, yeah. Uh, and, and Zing understands that. He's just saying, would you like to buy it back for whatever amount? Yes, and he's, cur he's currently considering his options. After a couple minutes, he, he, he turns around and says, okay, I'll give you 15 gold for it. Zing thinks about it. And then Zing, money and you got your copy of the map. Just Zing, gold. chews on his tongue for a second, and he's got, he, he he thinks and he goes, I've got a better idea. How about, would you buy it back for thirty gold, and then, while I'm in town, if you want me to copy any more of your maps that you don't have a lot of copies of, so you can resell them, um, you can just take whatever profits from, and I'll just work with you until I get sleepy, and then I'll turn in, and I made my copy in, like, two hours, so. Okay, well, local maps always sell really well, and it's hard to get someone to copy them. I mean, they shouldn't take you that long to copy, they're pretty... Pretty simple. Tell you what, tell you what. I'll give you back all 35 gold and give you a copy, copy, a labeled map of this town if you make me 10 copies of this map. Zing quickly uh, appears to be spinning one of his pencils and he's like, you've got a deal. Let's get to this. And then he gets to work. Yeah, he, he, he motions over to a desk. And it puts down a stack of papers and uh, just sets a map down and says, here you are. He also gives you uh, some ink and stuff so you can actually, you know, make the map. Yeah, and uh, Zing attempts to do the best job possible. Um, like, he, he, he's, he's, he's trying to really do a good job with these. He, he, he makes it really obvious he's not trying to rush with them. Um, but he will mind his time to see exactly, like, how much time it's taking him to make every map. Um, so how many rolls do you want me to make? Uh, well, it'll probably be ten, but let's just start with the first one. Yeah, that one takes you a little while. That one didn't take you that long, so you're okay. Yeah, you're doing good. Yeah, that one, that counts as two. That's not very... You have to redo that one. You have somehow managed to destroy three pieces of paper. 
somehow. You aren't even sure how you did it. Zing says a bad word under his breath. He uses some of his personal paper. Oh, there's plenty of paper there. Okay, getting back on track. Keep going. There you go. One more. There you go. You completed them all. Okay, how much time did it take? Uh, let's see. It's actually fairly late now. It's like 10 p.m. Oh, wow. You actually ended up doing them fairly quickly. Okay, uh, then I call the guy over and I um, ask him to inspect what I've done. Well, he quickly looks over the maps that you've written. <laughs> you've made like hundreds of calls. <laughs> and you can, you can see him smiling happily to himself. And he uh, just motions to the map you were copying off of and says, and that map is yours, and here's 35 gold. Awesome, thank you. There you go. Pleasure doing business with you. And you too, sir. If you see me back in town, uh, feel free to pull me aside and we can work together again. Okay. All right. And then with that, uh, he'll go back to the tavern a little tired, but he wants to, uh, he'll look around to see if anyone's still awake. Uh, would, you still be, thinking... would you still be at the table? Um, yeah, I actually would. I would still be at the table, but you see all the pieces are all sorts of around. Well, did anybody come and play? Did any any did I have any takers? Well, a couple people have come up and tried to play, but it's pretty obvious none of them actually knew the rules. I would explain to a few of them the rules the best I can. Yeah, I, well, not the best I can. I'll explain to them very clearly the rules and probably be able to teach them how to play. Then you probably had maybe four or five decent matches. I mean, they weren't, they weren't uh, great. They in weren't the two great. hours, you probably... Yeah, you may have four, maybe. Dragon chess is, like, going to be three times as long as normal chess, so maybe even only two. Probably two. If it was two hours, he was gone. These were beginners, so they lost really easily. Oh, yeah, it's not about losing or winning for, for me at that point, knowing that well, they I don't know, know how to play. I know, but the thing is, is they'd make such mistakes. Oh, yeah. They're new. Oh, yeah. Of course. Um, Dargan Chess. I wrote Dargan Chess. Um, <laughs> Shantaya. Um, Shantaya Dargan Chess. Uh, yeah. So in that case, you know, I'd just be like, yeah, you would see either somebody. Yeah, I mean, at that point, has is there anybody at the table when he gets there? Because that's kind of up to you, I think. I'm. I'd I would still be there. You're just at the end of a game. Okay. When he gets there. And you see me playing a person at this board game. Zing will actually sit down and watch the game politely before even interrupting or anything. Now, you actually know the rules for this game. So you can see very quickly that the person that he is... That, uh... Jack is playing against is uh, at a heavy disadvantage. Getting steamrolled. Hey, Jack. Yeah? C could I offer uh, your friend a few suggestions, if you wouldn't mind? Sure, no problem. I've offered him plenty so far. Zing shrugs and uh, moves over to uh, sit next to his opponent, and then we'll attempt to help him win. Sit next to his opponent? Oh, yeah. my opponent. His being me, okay. <laughs> what do I need to roll? Well, what exactly are you trying to do? Help him win. <laughs> yeah, how? He's at a, at a heavy disadvantage. <laughs> by, by, by telling him uh, exactly what moves to make and where. Ah, so your knowledge of dragon chess. I'm assuming it's a heavy material disadvantage. Yeah, yes, he's he's short quite a few pieces. 
Let me know if I need to do anything other than win. He's uh, like Zing's obviously going to be whispering the instructions. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, I'm trying to think of what the role because you will need to make a role for this. Sylph three G two. <laughs> Let's see. You could choose. <coughs> you could actually do investigation, insight, uh, perception. I'm definitely rolling insight. Or oh, history. He's using insight and perception as needed. Well, you have to tell me it's... what you're using when you're rolling. This will be insight. I have a question with 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 rolling these. If you're trained in it, it's just a plus two, right? Yes. Plus it, plus to your bio. D twenty plus your stat bonus plus your your mod for for whatever that skill is, and plus then plus your proficiency. Yeah. And your proficiency is two at level one, so yes. So you either probably get like a plus four or five or something, depending on whatever your insight is or what your wisdom is. Okay. There you go. You whisper, you whisper a couple moves to him and suggestion while motioning at the board. And uh, to your surprise, Jack. Yeah. He reaches out and makes a very good move. Hmm. It doesn't, you know, negate the situation at all, but it, it certainly <laughs> He's holding is, on. for the situation <laughs> is a very good move. He's holding on for dear life. All right, my turn. Well, yeah, he just moved. But you then trap the piece he just moved. He looks very sad. You don't capture it; you just trap it. It was a very interesting maneuver. Blackjack says, "But I think I have a remedy for that too." It's it's all downhill from here, I believe. That is a Zing takes voice. a deep breath and it tries to help him again. <laughs> you whisper to him another move. Actually, you whisper to him like three or four moves this time. And he chooses <laughs> one of them. <laughs> this one's not quite as good as the last one, but it's still a pretty good move. Much better than the moves he's been making most of the game. All right, I think to myself in my wisdom, and I insightfully make a careful move. You move your piece, and after you've finished moving, you realize you have opened up a, some of your defenses. Yeah, a little bit. I tried to see the opening and give uh, his opponent some in instructions on how to take advantage of it. <laughs> you motion to him, and right after your motion, the, the guy nods excitedly, grabs the completely wrong piece, and moves it. Negating the wrong any advantage <laughs> gained by his opponent's mistake. Zing sighs. It's, it's my turn again? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> he walks right into it. You laugh and take pieces. Oh, you should have just I don't know how long we're gonna be here, but I, I think with know. that one I'm you should have just clean, said you clean. should have just said he opened himself up to a checkmate with that one. Yeah, that's pretty much what happens. The game's pretty much over at this point. Oh well. Good good try anyway there. It was interesting, it was not as lost as I thought it was, but I think it's still there. Hmm. You realize your friend might actually be pretty good at this game. You might actually be pretty good at this game. You know what else I'm pretty good at? And uh, Zing uh, has this, like, shit itty grin on his face, and he takes uh, 35 gold out of his pocket with the, with the map and uh, delivers them across the table. I don't need a second one of these, but I'll take the gold. It's a different map. 
It's a labeled oh. map of Fandalen. Oh, I need to put the labeled map. Well, I, did, I just, basically, I just made that assumption as he hands it to me. <laughs> I didn't unroll it or anything. I assume it's in a case. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't need a second one of these. Oh, uh, it's, uh, it's a different map. No, oh, sweet. Well, I'll put this other loose map in there. He reaches over to the side of the table and rolls it up quick and puts it in, I guess, <clears throat> excuse me, the tube. Um... I went ahead and put the map in everyone's hand, uh, handouts. Okay. And uh, he says, thanks for my money back. That's that's really useful. Um, he puts it in a bag. Zing nods. And no problem. He, he looks at him and he says, you know I'm a master at this game, right? Zing looks down at the pieces, looks at I the could, ruby red one in particular. I and he's like, a thing or two. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Sure, uh, we could try a game if you want. I, not right now. It's uh, actually about my bedtime. But maybe sometime when we've got a little bit of time. You're not too terrible. Okay, gotcha. That, I understand. And by that, right. I don't mean it negatively. I mean, you're probably better than most. Most average Joes. Zing uh, appears to be biting his lip and just kind of like weighing that and <laughs> imagining at least 20 different ways to completely destroy him whenever he tries to actually play. Uh, but he'll uh, go, okay, we'll have fun whenever we get time to do that. I need to turn in. My hands are extremely tired um, from making maps for like the past six or seven hours. Uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check out. So he goes upstairs. I will see you later. I, and uh, Blackjack begins putting the pieces back up into the quivers, and the leather, uh, the leather boards back in the quivers. And he's checking in uh, for the night. He's gonna politely be as quiet as possible whenever he's entering a room because he doesn't really know where Lazarus or Lazarus is just passed out on on a bed. All, all Brecht has been. Although, I'll break doesn't really matter. So, Lazarus is passed out. What is Rex in the room when I walk in? Uh, at this point, I'd say he's probably asleep, yeah. Are there any lights? Uh, no, the room is dark when you open the door. Okay, well. I'll wait a moment for my eyes to adjust. Um, I'll attempt to squint a little bit, see where I need to go. You do hear snoring from one of the beds, so you know there's someone in that one. Okay, what about the other two beds? I'm just... Trying to figure out if anybody's in those without, like, touching stuff. Well, as you get close to one, you think you hear breathing. Okay. Then I go to the other. Set my stuff off, take my shirt off, all the jazz. Take the, uh, the pants off, not the under linens. And then I get in whatever covers and hope it's not itchy. And then we wake up in the morning. Lazarus probably gets up before everyone else. What's before everyone else? Out of like, curiosity. He gets up at 1 a.m. 5.30? Okay, yeah, that's that's probably... When you wake up, <clears throat> um, you'll hear me roll over a little bit, and I'll probably look up at you. He's and just then... putting his clothes on and Getting his pack together. Yeah. Um. I'm trying to think. He's in a room sleeping with other people. He probably wouldn't necessarily be able to go back to bed. So he eventually sits up and just kind of rubs his eyes a little bit. He doesn't really look in the way. He's just tired. Just a little tired. He says, good morning. Morning. What's Rex doing? He's just getting himself together and heading out the door. We go down to have some breakfast. <laughs> it's already heading out the door before you, Lazarus. Well, he anyway, he went to sleep wearing clothes. He just got up, picked up his pack, and started leaving. <laughs> Hawaiian man. Um, he never okay. removes it. Yeah. <laughs> Is it the Hawaiian his... shirt? It's not actually a shirt. It's actually his skin. It's actually a, a type of cancer. His shirt. 
Um, <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, you go ahead, and I guess you go downstairs whenever. I mean, yeah. Um, Blackjack's going to take his time. He's going to use whatever washboard or bucket that's there and available. Uh, a and, washboard in the tub. Yeah, and and just uh, do some shaving and try to shave up some of his face, clean stuff up so it's not really any annoying. Um, yep, and that's what he does. Then he goes down for food and whatnot. Is breakfast free or what? Oh yeah, it comes with renting the room. Breakfast comes with renting the room. Woohoo! Breakfast is free. It's muffins and fruit. M- muffins and vegetables. And fruit and, veg- and veg- vegetables? Yeah, like berries. I guess berries aren't vegetables, are they? <laughs> Vegetable berries, you guys. It's like fruit peas. Hey, bananas are berries and they're fruit. Yes, but they're not vegetables. Yeah, there aren't any vegetable berries. <laughs> there are no vegetable berries. Those are peas. Peas are now peas, labeled okay. as vegetable berries. I'm putting that on Facebook. Okay. <laughs> That's actually <laughs> It's pretty funny. Um all right. Well I'll sit down at whatever table everybody else uh whatever table Lazarus and uh Rex are sitting at because they went down first. I don't know if anybody else is down there, but that's where I'm going that's where I'm headed. Zing um, specifically is not down there. Although it does take me about twenty minutes to do my whole shaven thing, so I'll be down there in twenty minutes. Albrecht gets up a little later than the rest of you, but he gets his armor on, gets his stuff together, and heads down to join you. So everyone but Zhang is eating breakfast. Pretty much. Said it's muffins, fruit, and berries. Vegetable berries. They're tasty. I'll come down pretty much as everyone's finishing up eating. Oh, um, while we're eating, um, basically I'll ask everybody who's there, I'll just say, do you guys have anything else to do this morning before we go? I'm yeah. going to stop by the store one more time. Uh, you aren't there yet, no offense. Like then, I said, while we were reading, you said you oh, okay. get there when everybody's finished, basically. Then that's all fine. you got to do is get the uh, mules out of the stable and hook everything up. Okay. Um. All right. Cool. I should be ready to go. I am too. I have my backpack right here. So as and we finish get, eating, yeah, Zen gets about, here. Yeah, as Zen gets there, it's about probably about seven, maybe seven, a little after seven. 715, 730. Yeah, somewhere in there. It's uh, morning. Morning. I wave. Morning. Um, how much uh, is breakfast? It's free. It's gratis. Oh, freaking awesome. Okay. Free presidential breakfast. I say free in another language which you may... Hello? You cut... Hi. You cut off my... Oh, so that was. What, can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. yeah you just instantly cut off. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. Anyways, I'd say. Uh, I say also. I say free in another language, which you may or may not know. Um. Oh, well, I'm not sure if I would know that or not. Then. Um. Yeah. Here, I'll tell. I'll tell Potato what language it is, and you can tell Potato what languages you know. What languages do you know? Bum 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 bum. Just so that he doesn't reveal what languages he knows to me. Unless he wants to. You tell me honestly, because as far as I know, I I, I'm gonna actually say that I only know common, unless you tell me otherwise. Um, I can't remember what languages you get. I'd have to look it up. I would say even I would say even if. Uh, the uh, 
the character thing gives me Orcish as a second language. Zing does not know Orcish specifically. Because it makes no sense for that to be in, in his okay. background. If you only if you're saying out of character that your character only knows common, then you wouldn't understand it. Yeah. But you could assume that it also meant free because I said gratis, which is kind of funky, but it sounds like free. It it would depend on where he's been and what languages he's picked up, but I know for a fact that he definitely knows common and definitely does not know Orcish. And that's about it. Okay. You could assume that it means free, but you don't know what language then. Actually, I lied. He wouldn't know Orcish. Never mind. I'm retarded. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got something screwed up in his backstory. He knows Orcish. I'm, I'm... Dude. We are all I that think, sometimes. I think those are the two languages you know. Okay. Then I know Orcish in common. That's it. Yep. So you don't you don't know what he said, but you could infer it because you seem pretty insightful. You could infer what he said. He said right, food. Free. <laughs> Fuck it. I don't know. He said free. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so you f- finish arguing over a word. Yeah. Not really arguing, just... Flight I'm being interested in the, the the mechanics of knowing words and languages. Understood. Free food. Alright, so we get finished with the free food. And it's about time, and I guess I say... Looks like we're all finished. So we're going to go track Mr. Gundren, yeah? Yep. You are all going to disappear from the map. Is that is that correct, everyone? It yes. For me. We're going to go after Gundren. That seems right. Actually, I still wanted to stop by this store really quick, if I can do that super, yes. super fast. Yeah, go ahead. It's only 7.45. we got plenty of time. Okay, uh, if I stop by the <laughs> store, can I grab rations, and can I ask him if he has any big tents? Big tents. Well, he has he has all, all the rations you want. However many that you got, you can get them. He'll give it to you. Yeah, he'll just give it to you at cost. Five silver apiece. He likes you. And as far as goes, <coughs> he only has two person tents. Is that about as much room as I used last night? Was about enough room for two people? Can I stand yeah, up in this for tent? You, for you, that would definitely be a one person tent. Because you're a pretty big fella. Okay, so two person would be one person, so that's not a big enough tent. I need a bigger tent. For for the room I used to do the thing I did last night. Yes, you'd need more room than that. Okay. So he he, uh, he says, well, maybe, let me look in the back for a minute. Okay. You hear him rummaging around back there for, like, maybe five, ten minutes. Then he comes out with a box and says, okay, this might be what you want. You only have, like, three <laughs> of these, but this is a ten-person tent. <laughs> Zing stares at it. Look at hotel. Okay. Uh, how much money are we talking? Uh, well, I mean, we actually didn't pay that much for him. I'll give two for ten gold. Deal! Deal. Holy, yes, thank you. But it's it's kind of heavy. How heavy is it? It weighs like 40 pounds. Eh, that's fine. All right, well, if you can carry it, here's your tent. You can, you're, Everybody can sleep in there. <laughs> it's also Huge pretty tent. large. Huge tent. It's like um, 12 by 12. It's a big old tent. It's a pretty big tent. While he's going over there, I didn't really tell anybody, but I'm going to go swing by the shrine one last time early in the morning. And quickly I take off my hat, I do my thing, and then I go back to where to meet everybody where everybody's going to be. Okay, so uh, as far as my carrying capacity is concerned, I don't think I'm that overburdened yet. Um, oh, but... I'm going to rely on you to know whether you're overburdened or not. I'm not going to keep track of it. Uh, I've got my weights. Just... I'm, I'm just, you, I'm just, I'll, I'm going to let you guys deal with that. I'm going to trust you. I have no reason not to. Yep, and it's <laughs> faster to trust us. How, how much weight can 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 I carry really quick? Let me do the calculations, I and I want to just... times your strength score, but let me, uh, it might be different. 
Ten times your strength score. Is what okay. you can carry and not drag. Okay, then I'm perfectly fine. I've got plenty of room. I'm fine. I'm I'm good. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so Z Zing leaves, and then uh, he will have his his new t t t tent with him. Um. By the way, is this a tent that I can put up by by myself? Uh, yeah, it'll take you like twenty minutes, but yeah, you can. Holy shit! I'm gonna have like the Taj Mahal running around. <laughs> uh, awesome. Tent Mahal. The tent Mahal. You know what's gonna be really funny? If it's a ten-person tent and it's as big as I'm thinking it is, we could have enough room to put the other tents inside this tent. That's just dumb. And then we would have a situation where everything would be two tents. Anyway. Um, uh, so intense. we can go now. That's intense, man. We would be intense, yes. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, we could leave now. I'm so done fucking dumb. around. Yeah, so dumb. We go! We go as a team without the wagon, I, I believe. Is that correct? No, we're, we're no, taking the wagon. Taking his wagon. You're taking just his wagon. We're how many, how many uh, rations can one gold piece buy, by the way, Chris? Uh, two. <laughs> two. It's five silver for one. You can, you can get... Two, two for one gold. Okay, I buy ten rations, five gold. Oh, I guess I should go buy some rations real quick. Also, I also buy oh, ten rations. Oh, it's not ten, it's fifteen. Okay, I buy fifteen rations? No, no, no. The the, the multiple for encumbrance is fifteen, not ten. Okay. I, I buy ten rations also, just so that I have a bunch of rations. And that's five gold. Wait, what? I buy 10 rations for five. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, it's two for one. Yeah, my bad. And it's um, 15 pounds? For every point of strength you have, you can carry 15 pounds of weight. I'm asking how much pound, how many pounds the rations are. Oh, a ration is two pounds a piece. Wow. It's a whole day's worth of food. <sighs> that's 30 pounds. Yeah, yeah, you might have a little tough. Uh, yeah, I think I'm looking. I might have to I'm, carry your food. No, I don't think so. I'm looking briefly, and my inventory is really not that big. I mean, I'm carrying two bear traps. He's got fifteen. Eight times, eight times fifteen is uh, eighty plus forty is one hundred twenty pounds. Yeah, I got this easy. One hundred twenty pounds is nothing. Oh, I'm good. carrying maybe two. Carry enough. I'm carrying about three pounds of coin. Um, 30 pounds of food. Your food's probably, food and water will be That's, your two heaviest yeah, things, unless food. you're wearing heavy armor. Yeah. But you have a anyway. lot of items. <clears throat> I can carry yeah, a lot because I have tons of strength, or I, I have a decent amount of strength, and I have no armor, so. Alright, let's, we'll continue, plus we got the wagon in any case. Because I, <clears throat> I see you with the wagon, I'm like, well, I didn't, really expect us to bring the wagon but uh i mean wh how are we going if we go off into the trail how are you going to uh yeah I, out of character my character just did not register anything when you said at, at breakfast that you're going to go get the wagon i totally apologize out of character uh but in character i look at the wagon when we get all together and i'm like uh or blackjack's like so i guess it was past my realization that you're actually going to bring the wagon i just missed something uh when we're tracking this through the dense forest are you okay with just leaving your wagon and tying it up or that was the plan yeah oh okay um just let's make sure you don't leave any valuables i suppose In what are there? they gonna steal 20 uh, pounds of wheat I don't know, I'm just... Someone's gonna steal I, those bear traps. You never know when somebody steals a wagon, I mean, it's it looks pretty sturdy, and I give it a little kick. Zing lowers his voice. Somebody's gonna steal those bear traps. Uh, you mean the ones I'm carrying with me? Wear them as armor! <laughs> snap, snap. If you're taking the bear traps Someone with you, then you, whatever. Their arm gets chopped off. <laughs> Yeah, it's this is chest mail, man. This is breastplate, breastplate of bear trap, plus two. 
That would be terrifying. Someone tries to backstab you. Oh no. Chomp. They start waving their hand around, and then you're like waving your really strong, and they're waving you around. Well, um, <clears throat> I'm not saying it's a bad idea to bring the wagon, but if we go off and do some decent tracking, we may be away from the wagon for some indefinite period of time, and I don't want your wagon stolen. Well, we can either all walk there really slowly and might not be able to carry back anything that we find. Hold I'm on. okay with whatever we do. It's your wagon. Like, seriously, I'm really... My, cool my mules whichever. can take care of themselves. All right, then that's what we do. We bring the wagon, we ride on the wagon. You're Is everyone good to go? Yep. All right, we take the wagon to the place of the burnt body pile. You easily get there. Yes. Awesome. Nothing happens on the way there. Thank you for fast-tracking us there, because I'm interested in getting to encounters and stuff. Okay, so we're there. Yes, uh, well, I'm not putting your pieces down, because it doesn't matter. And I look to Zhang, and I say, Zhang, sir, do your thing. Actually, as we're on the way there, um... I would probably take long horses, long. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Scrunchy oh, God. Horse. Scrunchy. Scrunchy horse. Anyway, um, I, uh, while we're on the way there, uh, we'd probably take that time to explain to the dwarf what happens to get us in this situation in the first place. I think that would make sense if we haven't done that already. Sure. That's fine. Yeah, so, we were hired and stuff. I'll let you explain, and I'll go get another beer, because I like it when other people talk, and I don't have to talk some. Okay, so basically what would happen was we were uh, hired to escort these goods to the town, um, and we got ambushed by goblins. And it was really weird, because the two guys that we get, were hired by, um, one of them got dragged off by the goblins, and the other one walked off into the woods and teleported away somehow. So, yeah, I, mm. so you anyway, the, you can lead him over to the footprints if you want. There's yeah, there. yeah, I point at the footprints of, and like basically the scorch mark where it just, he just it looks like it disappeared. The trail did. And I'm, um, Zing's just like, yeah, so we were able to surmise some kind of like maybe divine holy magic. And that's all we know about that. But I, I we we don't know. That, it was weird. Um, but anyway, that one guy got dragged off in the woods, so I'm oh. going to go look for his footprints. In the discussion, I do uh, reveal the information uh, to anybody who may, at the moment, be unaware, and I say, Gundren did not know how to teleport, so he was not uh, willfully teleported. Interesting. Uh, the man at the shop, um, Mr. Barthen, uh, gave me that information. Okay. Not right. that he knew that he was unwillfully teleported, but he told me that he could not, he did not know of Barthen, of uh, Gungeon being able to teleport. Okay. Well, the one thing we didn't do was we didn't check in with their brothers, but that, nah, it's fine. Anyway, okay, so, um, let's, I'm gonna go ahead and look, and I tried to find the tracks where he was dragged off into the woods. Okay, so I'll need a check from you a nature check i would or, like to or aid a him. nature check investigation check perception check some kind of I check i would like to aid him with um what i would like to do if it's okay mike don't uh really quick um i would like to use my perception to find the tracks and follow the tracks and then as i'm looking i'm going to be verbally relaying the information to um Jack, and he can piece it together and use it for investigating the information I'm telling him. Well, I was him. just going to investigate the ground with you to assist you in finding the tracks. Okay, so what do you want me to roll? Oh, yeah, you, had, you can roll perception, insight, investigation, nature. My check, uh, is, my check to assist is here. Actually, no, not insight. I'm looking to investigate the 
ground and the site where he was dragged off, to the best of my recollection. So, 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 what? What is Zane rolling? That's perception. I ruled an in investigation. Uh, yes, looking at the surrounding area, actually, uh, you notice where Zhang is looking and putting together a couple different indentations in the ground. You realize, oh, that's where the tracks are. So you point him right to them. I point you to the tracks and I say, ah, this is where they must have dragged him off at. You see two marks that look like, you know, foot marks. Kind of Butt drag marks. Mark the, look like, basically, uh, they're drag marks from the feet. Kind of going off into the woods. Okay. Okay, I follow those then. Um, I follow those off in the woods. Wait, right. before you go, <laughs> as you begin to go into the woods, um, I look to Lazarus. Do you have your wagon tied off? The forest is not terribly dense. You could take the wagon with you if you really wanted. I'm assuming you're just telling Lazarus because I didn't realize that and say that at the same time. So, I don't know I'm I mean, just saying that. I'm, I'm waiting for Lazarus to correct me. We could, I'm... Take, the, we could take the the wagon. It's probably not that bad. I look back at the trail and I go, oh, huh. Okay then, sounds good to me. Let's take the wagon. I get back in the wagon well, and sit down. A bit bumpier than the main road, but mm, he has iron shod wheels. They should survive. Um, I actually walk ahead of the wagon just to yeah. keep the trail. Yeah, that's the way to do it right there. All right, good. That makes the checks much lower. Doing it from the top of the wagon <laughs> is much a higher check. <laughs> okay, so yeah. you follow it for maybe 500 yards, and then the drag marks go away. So you need to find the footprints again. Find the trail. Uh, Does anything no, it's happen, my perception. or is he just... No, you, you were like, the drag marks went away. You noticed the drag marks went away. I noticed. I'm in the wagon. But, well, actually... Uh, so basically, I'm notices. assuming everybody except for Zhang is in the wagon. Uh... Actually, yes, every, well, everyone who is not in the wagon would notice. Yep, so, so what does Zeng do? Zeng is the one who notices. Yeah, what does he do? What do I see? I don't know. I roll. <laughs> oh, you find the footprints about 15 feet away, going in a slightly different direction. He, uh... Points out the footprints, puts a thumb up, and then follows, starts following the footprints, and beckons the wagon to follow him. Shall follow. Lazarus directs the wagon. I haven't required a check because it's your wagon and, and your mules. You know how to use them. Yep. Also, I think you're proficient in land vehicles. I am. <laughs> Land vehicles. That's what it's called. Yeah, I know. This is going to be ridiculous. We have, like, ultimate transportation party. Yeah, transportation party! So one of them's got land, one of them's got water, one of them's a wizard, so he can fly at higher levels. Actually, the monk can, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, um, so after about... This time, you actually keep the trail for quite a while. You follow it for a few miles. This guy obviously was going. He's, he was, after a while, you notice there's another set of footprints with it. Also, they appear to be goblins. So he got, he found some another goblin out there, and you notice it looks like they are running from that point forward. So they probably picked him up, and were running with him. Pretty strong goblins. <laughs> Zing, <laughs> Zing appears a little bit, um, a little bit concerned by this, but keeps going. Then he waves on the wagon to continue following. And about a quarter mile after that, you notice there's actually that, that the tracks turn on to what looks like an old trail of some kind. It's wide enough for the wagon, but it obviously hasn't been used for, like, no wagons or anything have been on it in years. Okay. At this point, Zing will actually turn around and uh, 
um, say up to uh, Jack, hey, can you pull out that map and see how close we're getting to that X? That's just what I was doing. As as you're saying that, you see him go, whoo, he's already pulled it right out of the uh, the uh, the map hole. The, sc the, the scroll hole. holder, I don't know. Fuck. It's called a... <laughs> Come on. What is it? I can't remember. There, what do you call it? Forget. <laughs> uh, the map sheet. The tube. Map tube, I, I mean, guess. I think that might actually be what it's called. Is like a map tube or something like that. Okay, so anyway, um, I pull open the map. I had pulled out of the map, out of the map tube. And, uh, whoops, whoops, click, cl I'm clicking all the things here. By the way, the Fandolin map with Legend is viewable. Um, uh, it's supposed to be, you have it. Ah, okay. Oh. That was the thing he got. Oh, that was the thing he gave me. Oh, shit. <laughs> like, I didn't even look at it. I haven't even looked at it yet, so my character doesn't know how awesome that is. Um, anyway, uh, I pull it out, and, uh, we look at it together, and I show everybody... Um, and, uh, we'd like to try to estimate where we think we are. Okay, so who's doing the estimating? Um, I'm gonna let Zhang do it, but I'm gonna help him with, uh, I'd like to use Insight, but I don't really know what check you want there. Like, I really well, don't. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna jump in the wagon and actually try to, like, stand on top of it, and... Do uh put lick my finger, put it up to the wind, try to determine which way is north, <laughs> and then also just check the position of the sun, and just remembering uh, which way we go. I mean, really, that's your navigator. Yeah, and, and then gonna try to use his navigation tools. Yeah, basically, I'm using my navigation yeah, tools. You actually to... see him pull out a sextant and use it. Yeah. Correctly, I might add. And then I sit down and I look at the map and I attempt to find north and kind of guesstimate kind of how we've managed so far. And then, yeah. Um, so what kind of skill can I use? Uh, you can use... To aid versus... Uh, perception, insight, investigation. I'm using my insight. I'm going to roll insight on the... Uh, you're using your tool set. But you can add your insight to it. Yeah. So that would be plus two plus two. Uh, you plus see me two point tool set and plus if yeah, that's what you have for your insight, yes. You you'll notice uh well, I wanna see what he says. Actually you see me point at stuff. And I'm just gonna let you confirm or unconfirm whatever I'm saying, basically. Mixed or potato will like confirm. This. Zhang has made, and Blackjack's uh, very astute observations on the maps, mixing with the landmarks and, uh, of course, the map. You figure out you're probably about five miles from the X. You're pretty close. Oh, do we have a map with an X? Like, can, are we able to see it? I thought you were comparing the maps in, in your location. Oh, I was talking about the big map. Yeah, and, and the little map together. Do you have a picture of the little map? I do not. Oh, okay. I did not make a little map. I gave that to you guys because you needed it. So we overlay the big map with the little map, and, like, we see kind of how they relate together. And then can we tell, based on the relation between the two, what the X is on? On the big map? Yeah. It appears to be on a small hill on the big map. Um, is there a way you can like a, show like a, us? Like a small foothill. Um, I think the big map's actually too big to really... You can show us a hex, one of the hexagons, maybe. Uh, you don't have to, like, point, no. but you can, like, kind of halfway say. Uh, no, no, it's, there's not really... Let's see. It's the Just give us an it, opinion. It appears to be in the hexagon next to the P in Van Dalen, if that, on the big to map. To the left of the P? Yes, to the left of the P. Okay. So that's where we're at. I understand now. You're in. The, you're right in that area. That's where the X is, and you're pretty close to it. You're in. Oh, that, you you're in that same area. Got it. Check. So shall we continue? 
Yeah, that seems... Also, based upon your observation, this path goes in the correct direction to get there. Would you like to uh, complete this map? Do I? I ask Zhang, would you like to complete this map? Uh, what do you mean by complete it? Uh, you and your particular skill set, um, you may be able to add to this map and maybe uh, in the future publish it. Well, with if this, we with this road right here that's uh, unused. Zing actually thinks for a second, then looks down at the trail, and he looks back at the at the big map, then down at the trail, and he's like, "Holy shit, you're right. That's not even on there." Um, yeah, that road's not on there at all. Well, I don't want to mess up the the big map. I'm gonna draw on the on the on the little shitty map with the X about where the road is. Um. And, uh, I kind of, like, start the road a little bit, and then I give it back to Jack, and I'm like, okay, just, um, as we're going down the road, just con tr try to, like, give a, me a basic estimate of, of kind of where it is, and I'm, uh, and I want to, I want to <laughs> keep, I want to keep tracking, you know, I'm, I can't really put my nose to the ground and be up in their heart drawing this out at the same time, so you, you just, uh, Take my I'm tools. Back. Do as good of a job as you can with this while you're um, while you're up in the cart, and uh, that way I can keep on the trail that I've been following, and we're not losing it. And you're just drawing on the shitty map anyway, so you don't have to worry about messing it up. It's just I want a little bit of a guideline for later. I don't. Uh, I don't uh, in the character. Well, I will just you, say you can, you, you can use the tools. You just don't get the plus two bonus. Well, yeah, yeah, I know. Um, I tell him. Uh, so, I. Uh, I what really don't want to get it wrong. I'm going to be coming back later anyway. It's just we're trying to save a man's life right now, and I want to note to myself that I need to come back and make a note of this trail. So you're you're basically just bookmarking it for me and giving it me a rough estimate. So I know kind of where to look for the trail to actually find the trail again. But when when we come back, I've got to do like a million other things to make sure I get the outline of this trail exactly right. If I'm going to, going to make an actual decent map out of it. So you're gonna come back later and map the whole thing out later. Yeah, basically. But right now we've got a guy that's been dragged off by goblins and God knows what happened to him. So. Yeah, a day ago. <clears throat> anyway, I'll do my best, but uh, no promises. And I think while we're here, you might as well. I don't. Okay. He looks very confused, but he'll he'll borrow your tools and do what he can. Okay. Anyway, so Zane goes back to the uh, back to the ground. And he'll continue to. Uh, he's got priorities. He'll continue to follow the track. I'm gonna use my nature check. To do cartography over land, I think I think that's most applicable. Works for me. Okay, there you go. Will you begin to draw on the map? <laughs> All right. So you guys continue following the trail down the path. Yep. That's another check for you, Chris. Whenever you need it, as far you as following. Realize that it's actually very easy to find the tracks now on the path. After another about two miles, up ahead in the distance you hear water, and you can see a bit of a, there's something like in front, it doesn't look like a bridge, you aren't sure what it is at this distance. But I draw water. As you get closer, you can see there is a rather large creek, maybe about 20 feet across. It's not like raging or anything, but you couldn't just drive the wagon through it, it's too deep for that. But... Fortunately, you can see there's what looks like an old ferry sitting there. It's a bit disused, but it might work. It's only 20 feet across? Yeah, but you, yeah, it's 20 feet across, but it's deep enough you could not you could not just take the wagon through the water. We couldn't ford the water? The old, old Oregon Trail style? Look, you'll t you will capsize, everyone will drown. <laughs> <laughs> After you drown, you'll have dysentery. Yeah, somehow, you will come back to life dysentery, then die from a rattlesnake bite. <laughs> you'll drown, catch dysentery, and then die from a rattlesnake bite. 
you do notice that there is uh looks things like maybe maybe 15 20 yards off to one side of the path there's someone's fishing they're in a chair you can't really see them someone's they're... fishing yeah you can't, can't see them but we can them. see them you can't see the person they're in a chair and the, the back of the back of the chair is pretty high i'd like to squint to determine them. whether or not it's a goblin you can't see them um, How do we know Zing there? will hold up a hand. It's oh. up and down. Zing will hold up a hand and urge them to be quiet, and then we'll point at the fishing pole, and then point at Jack and uh, ask him to come with him on this reconnaissance mission to see who the hell this. I will try to be quiet. So I'll go with Zang being as quiet as I can. Yeah. Boom, boom. Um, let's see here. Uh, da -da -da. that is me being. That was me being quiet. My stealth check. Oh, that's right. You have disadvantage. Uh, didn't really matter either way. Excuse me. Okay, what happens next? Well, as well, I pres is Lazarus. Are you sneaking up with them, Lazarus? No, but he, they told us to be quiet, so I'm being quiet. As oh, okay, can so be. you're staying back with the wagon. Okay, <laughs> the two of you get closer. As am I. After a bit, you hear a voice say "yes," and uh, it pulls the rod up, and you see a fish jump out of the water. Obviously um, hook. while I'm being quiet, I knock an arrow into my crossbow. You do realize, the person who said "yes" in common. Yeah, don't sheathe my sword, but I knock an arrow into the crossbow. I'm literally out of character. I'm literally waiting for Zhang, and Zhang can tell that I'm just kind of waiting for his, waiting for his uh, action. I'm waiting to see what race this thing is. So I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna squint as hard as I can to try to figure out what race this is, as this thing is jumping up and down, saying Dude. yes. Well, it wasn't jumping up and down. Oh, well, it just said yes. Okay, I'd the like fish to. Fish jumped out of the fish jumped out of the water. I'd like to try to determine based on what I heard, what race it is, and based uh, on its diction. Okay. Give me either an insight or investigation check. Insight check. I guess you could use perception if you really wanted to. I think insight is probably more applicable than investigation it's the same oh it's not the same mine's not the same but i'm still using insight i refuse yeah because i am legit well you know that common is well called common for a reason pretty much yeah. every every general race speaks it and yeah but it's, based on the diction and how based it's on the diction it is probably not a goblin not a goblin okay but it could I... be any any number of humanoid I lean over to Zang and I like hold up my hand and whisper super duper quietly. Uh, well, how far away are we at this point? Uh, you're maybe about 20 feet away at this point. You're pretty oh. close. Then, yeah, I'm going to try my best and I'm going to whisper. So I'm and in that case, yeah, it's probably a stealth check, unfortunately. Um, here we go. I whisper probably not a goblin. Oh, it's Actually, not too I bad. Have to check, I have to check something real fast. To <laughs> this guy has stats. I whisper, probably not a goblin. It's not bad. Tell you right Any now, bonuses you know, for the water splish splashing nearby? He, yeah, they're actually, he's taking a penalty. I don't need to know what it is. I just like to throw those questions out there. You you hear a voice come from behind the chair. I'm not a goblin. <laughs> I look up in surprise. And he's looking. You cut off again. What? Oh. You cut Hello? Hello, you cut off again. Okay. I look up in surprise, and uh, I guess I see him looking at me, right? No, he's still behind the chair. 
Oh, he's not even... <laughs> Zing shrugs and just walks over. Yeah, we we give up. I, I, I say that, but I mean, like, in character, uh, Blackjack gives up and he follows Zang. And he, he puts away his uh, crossbow bolt and his crossbow and undoes the, uh, uh, the tension on it. Zing will even go as far as to say, so how's the fishing? The boy says, pretty good. I've got three fish today. Nice. Just enough for breakfast. Uh, so walking up, do I see who's talking yet? Uh, yes, as you round the as you round the side of the chair, you can see that there is a human child sitting in that chair. <laughs> was not expected out of character. <laughs> Zing stops short and looks at the looks at the kid and then looks at Jack. I try to determine what age he is. Almost the same size as him. I'd like to try to determine what age this child human child is. Okay, give me perception or inside investigation. Inside check. You know, I hate to say this, but you aren't sure. I'm going to give my own inside a whirl on this. It's used right now, I know. But you, you aren't <laughs> sure. This is why we need video, because then you'll see people's facial reactions to all of this. Do Am I aware... Am I aware of my own confusion? You are aware that it... The, the, okay. The human child appears to be maybe 10 years old. But you have this odd idea that that human child is not 10 years old. Hmm. Interesting. I, I that, guess, is what, that is what Jack feels. That's you, what I was getting ready to say. I was like, just keep what, that in mind, see, Zang. Zang, you, this is a 10-year-old child. About 10 years old. Okay, so to me, I feel like nothing's off, and it's just a kid. Yes. Granted, a kid with... You see you see three large fish on the ground in front of him that are almost as large as he is. Okay, well... Wait, you, you do remember that he said that was just enough for breakfast. Okay, got it. All right, um... Uh, actually, I would like to make a check. Okay, what kind of check? Um... I am uh, going, you know, I uh, this is going to sound really weird maybe, but I would like, this is really weird because I think you would have already told us if so. But anyways, I would like to see if I feel any dread. Am I dreadful at all? No, you feel fine. Okay. Just checking. Um, oh, this is weird. Um... So you asked him how the fishing was going. He said, enough for what? For breakfast. Ah, when he says that, I, I say, uh, is it, are you the only one eating? Well, yeah, with this much food. Do you mind, uh, this might be rude, but, um, and I'm very sorry if it is, sir, but, uh, how old are you? He just turns around and picks up the fish, walks towards uh, a pile of wood off to the side. He does not answer you. Um, well, actually, while he's doing that, Zing's going to whisper something really quick to Jack. And I'm, I'll roll for Roll stuff. Are you rolling stealth? The stealthy stuff. Yeah, I'm rolling stealth. Um, and Zing would say to Jack, uh, five gold, that's a drag. Anyway, um, he he just he just like basically just basically quickly whispers that to you. Um, anyway, so Zing will say, "Oh well, let me explain the situation." Again, I'm not meaning to be rude, um, but we were recently ambushed by some goblins. Uh, they took one of all the members of our group, uh, dragged him off into the woods, and we're trying to pick up his trail and find whatever happened to him. Uh, let's see. Unconscious guy, a couple goblins carrying him. Zing nods. Yeah, yeah, they went across the river a few days ago. Zing turns around and looks A few over. days ago? Yeah, it was like two days ago or something at this point. When, wasn't that yet, like yesterday or? I thought it was yesterday. Oh, no, it was yesterday. They went over yesterday. I, okay. I, for some reason, uh, did, they, did they use the ferry? Well, yeah. Uh, I just wanted to be sure that the ferry was stable enough. That's why I'm asking. 
Well, yeah, oh. I'm the fairy man. Oh. Oh. Like, I, um, I that thing working nicely. Would you take us across? For five gold. That's a bit much, isn't it? It's only well, 20 feet, right? I don't see you getting across the river without it. Or, well, creek, river, whatever you want to call it. That wagon is not going across unless it goes on that ferry. Where do you live? Where I want to. Zing's giving, like, Jack this really paranoid look. Just like, I don't know if we should be screwing with this kid. We should probably just take the ferry mm -hmm. ride and be done with it. Come on, it's just well, five gold. It's not that much. You got more than that on you. I can smell it. Blackjack looks like both nervous, scared, and possibly morbidly curious. We would be glad <laughs> to take the ferry, uh, and I'll pay the five gold, uh, sir. No, no, if... he has to pay the five gold. Oh, he has to pay it. I'm okay, do, okay, says, okay, wait, 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 so hang on, confused. hang on a second. This specific kind of behavior, is it related to any creatures that I am aware of? Uh, you'll have to give me a knowledge check of some kind. I'm not going to tell you which ones to make. I'm now feeling dread. I would like to determine whether or not it's possible this is a banshee. <laughs> <laughs> Arcana. This is going to be Arcana. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, religion, because I, I, last I knew that it was a religious thing, so I'm doing that. Uh, slash GR 1D20 plus lame. Wait, wait, what, wait, what was yours? I'm ruling religion to determine if it's a banshee. If I think it's uh, a band, because I'm feeling dreadful all of a sudden. You're well, okay. For for you, uh, Jack, you're pretty yeah. sure if that was a banshee, would have already probably attacked you by now. Okay, just checking. Um, Fair enough. As for Zhang, you you aren't really sure, but you probably shouldn't mess with them. Got it. Understood. All right. So we'll be glad to take we we appreciate the offer. We'll be glad to take the wagon across and thank you for your assistance. Blackjack and he will doesn't he will pay you the five gold. Blackjack is in silent concurrence. He's in a state of silent concurrence. Of silent wary concurrence. He takes he nods and puts it in his pocket. He then motions for you to put your wagon on on the ferry as he climbs aboard. Oh, uh, well, uh, Lazarus, see us get there with the kid, and as we get there, Blackjack just points at him and says, he's the fairy man. Oh. And he says it very, almost ominously. Well, that seems very reasonable. As you get across, as you go across the river, he says, ah, there's something I would like you guys to do for me while you're at that goblin cave. There's something oh. there that I want. Well, okay. Okay. I don't know where it'll be in there, but it'll, it'll be just look like a little wooden box that doesn't open. Wooden box doesn't open. Yeah, it just look like a little wooden cube made out of uh, some dark wood. Just okay. Bring that if you can just bring that to me, I'll be I'll, I'll you won't have to pay to cross this ferry anymore. Um, My character tries to hold back laughing. Could I potentially ask for something else? In, uh, I mean, I I'd be glad to pay you for your services any time, but there's something a little bit more valuable than the ferry crossing that I would love to pay for. Well, what did you have in mind? I'll be legitimately honest. I just kind of want to know who you are. You'll find out. Just okay. See, it goes completely quiet and does not say a word for the rest of the trip. So what's in this wooden box that doesn't open, and why do you are you interested in it? He stays silent. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'm not this is some, this is some children of the corn shit. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm not meaning to be disrespectful, but I'd really uh, like to know. I am... Um, 
somebody who likes to learn things and understand things. And even if you say you won't tell me, I'd rather you at least tell me you won't tell me. You want me to tell you who I am? No, I was just wanting to know what's in the in the wooden box. <laughs> Zing nods while while he's saying no. Yes, I accept that I'm very confused already. There is something very valuable to me inside that box. And what is that? Back. back from who? Need it back. The goblins, they stole it from me. I need it back. They stole it. I'd like to insight to be sure that he's telling the truth. Only, or, only. or to determine if I think he's telling the truth. I'll put it that way. He is telling the truth. Um... You have no reason to doubt his words. No, I know, I know. I'm thinking of how I'd react. So, wouldn't so out of character, just being honest, just saying this is what Blackjack's thinking. It's a wooden box, doesn't open, and uh, they stole it from this ten-year-old boy. Um, I'm not even gonna call him a boy. I'm just gonna say ominous figure A. <laughs> yeah, that's. Kind it of appears how to be actually... a human boy. About 10 years old. It's bullshit, is what that is. You're not fooling anybody with that. I would like to use my perception at this moment um, to see if I know any strange, notice any strange features of uh, this boy. I'm going to use my insight to try to pierce any illusions that might be active. I don't know that that right, works in so... fifth, but... For set, uh, I, I'm pretty sure it works. Yeah, actually, it is it's, uh, insight. I thought it was a wisdom save to see through it. Yeah. It depends. I'm just trying to see if there's if I see detect anything, any visual things that are incoherent or incorrect. The reason I'm saying he can use insight, because insight is wisdom. Unless you're it's trained. Just, it's if you're trained, you just get a little bonus, and I think he deserves a little bonus. He deserves a little bonus. Well, he's a monk, so he also gets wisdom saves. So. <laughs> exactly the same, actually. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, that is the same. Hmm. Yeah, hmm. I forgot about it. I forgot he was proficient. Unless he has expertise. Unless he, he has does expertise. not. But You're yeah. the only person with expertise. <laughs> I'm an expert. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and roll uh, perception. I can't... Oh, gosh, why did I put it on this page? Uh, Zane, you've already rolled, right? I've got one circle, so I get this. I'm trained in perception. Zane, Holy Zane. shoot, I've been rolling too low for my insight, guys. Actually, you know what, Chris? Does this fairy count as a bow? <laughs> yeah, it, is a, it is a water-going vessel. It's a boat! It's a boat! It's a boat! Does it count as a boat? We're on a boat! Yes. We're on a boat. Yes, it does. I use my my um background feature to get a free passage on this boat. <laughs> How are you using your background feature? Uh, just saying. Yeah, I use my though. background feature. I I just give me a second. I'll explain it in a little bit. I'm just saying that I mean, instead of going through the scenario with the gold. A free ride. Yeah, you are technically getting a free ride. Yeah, it's just gonna screw me. It's okay. <laughs> That that's what it is. Yeah, let's just. That's why he said if he pays this much money. That's okay, that's fine. Point, yeah. All right, sure. Yeah, you, we can go with that. That's fine. I anyway, need to actually remember that for next time. Does, does my perception get grant me anything? Do I notice anything uh, off or misshapen or strange of the visage of this boy? Uh, well, you don't notice anything physically strange about him. Okay. But he does look kind of annoyed. He looks kind of annoyed? Yeah. Okay. So, and this 20 feet, even, how long does it take us to cross 20 feet? Illusions. It takes about five minutes. This is a very long oh, wow. five minutes. Okay, well, um... Low fairy. Out of character, I don't think get across with an ore. As we are... Seen. As we're continuing and having nothing else to do, Zing is actually going to check all the knots on this ferry to make sure they're tied right, because he is apparently ADD about them. They are immaculate. <laughs> that creeps him out even more. 
I saw that coming. This is best. You guys are awesome. We need to play like twice a week, really. But anyway, oh, this is yeah, so much fun. Well, I mean, I guess I could like play. I can play on Sunday, but Travis yeah. can't. He always and I can't. can't. Hey, yeah, oh, Arthur yeah, can't yeah. either. Anyway, anyway, don't worry about it. Let's keep going. So we get across. Yeah. Oh yeah, you get across, and he puts down the ramps and says, "Just please bring me that magic box." We'll and see. He what always we can he do. appears strained when he says, "Please." We'll see what we can do. Um, and which way did they go? Wait, right wait. Hold, it goes right hold, to the cave. Hold what? on. You I'm sorry, Lazarus keeps interrupting. What did you say? Just go right down the path. It goes right to the cave. Oh, it goes right to the cave. All right. You just said magic box. <laughs> yes, of course it's a magic box. It doesn't open, open except for except yeah. for him specifically. Like what? Did he say that? Well, I'm assuming because he said it doesn't open, but it has something in it that he needs. So he probably is able to open it. Huh. Just context clues. Yeah, I guess I didn't think about that. I didn't really try. <laughs> he picks up the ramps and says, just bring me the box and casts off with the fairy again, going back to the other side. Very, very slow drifting to the left. It's no, kind of... actually, he, he just pushes once and it goes across in about 10 seconds. <laughs> okay. Shenanigans. Oh, by the way. It's obvious he took a long time on purpose. So, um, it, uh, as he speeds back, after those 10 seconds, whoosh. Zing will stare across the, the creek at him, and then stare at the party, and then stare back, and then he will shout at the top of his lungs, I know you're not a 10-year-old, and then he'll stomp off down the trail. Leading the way. I pinch my nose. It's what he does. I pinch my nose. I presume the bridge of your nose? Yes. Yeah. And, I, I, and, I, and I wave at the uh, ten-year-old boy. He does not wave back. That's okay, fine. I'm trying to be nice. Um, anyway. Um, out of character... Uh, there's funny something funny on uh the light show the other day, and they showed uh how Russia, uh, or some Russian channel was overlaid on the C-SPAN or whatever, and then they cut out and said, "Yeah, CBS would never do that." And they they showed the one of the oldest memes ever is the "Tra La 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 La" song, as uh it sounds quite uh Russian. It was very funny. Anyway. Okay should look it up. I had to get that out of my system. Let's keep going. So we, we follow the trail. Okay, as we're going down the trail, I will catch up Lazarus and uh, the dwarf on the situation. All right. I'll uh, just tell him blatantly, I am very certain that that is not a boy, and more certain than you, Zang. <clears throat> but I was trying to be a little more tactful. He already knows we're weirdos. Well, the situation's already been laid out in black and white. If we get him the box back, I'm pretty sure he won't give a shit. So let's just get his box back. I do want to see what's in the box. I also want to see what's in the box, but I have a weird feeling if I open it, it'll be death and damnation. So I'm just going to give him the box back and not think about it anymore. I'm going to open up and take a look. I'll still give him the box. Your if funeral. You if, I will stay get... the fuck back. That's fine. And if we can't open it, then I'm not going to try to force it open. I'll try to see any way that I can get it to uh, unforcefully open. But if there's no way to do that, then I'm fine with that. Okay, well, I'm going okay. I'm gonna to do some revealing here. While you do that, I will go get another beer. Zing actually, uh, while they're following the path, will jump on the back of the wagon and appear to be meditating. Oh, and I'll be smoking my pipe, because I haven't done that in a while. <laughs> like, meditating fiercely to try to calm the fuck down. Because he got rattled. Um, make an acrobatics check. Who? Zang. For what? Just make an acrobatics check. I crit fail. Oh, no. I'm using Polygon Reviewer. Alright, where's the map? Where is it? I'm still revealing it. I'm looking for it. 
Oh, I see a box, but it's kind of funky. Hmm. I see a funky box at the bottom. Uh, it's about half. Oh. It's a third of the way down on the left, on the right, left, left, well, left side. Left side. Near the bottom, there is a funky box. It's like a gray line box. But anyway, um, I'm zooming in to where you're showing us now. To where you see yourselves. Uh, arrange yourselves how you wish to be. One square down from there. So like down here. Who wants to play Tom Selleck? Not I will. You will play Tom Selleck. Um, let's see. I'll probably just be in the back. Firebolt, shield, and... Firebolt, Mage Hand, and Light are his cantrips. He knows shield, too. Yeah, those are his level level 1 spells. Yeah, those are level 1 spells, that's it. Uh, Firebolt, Mage Hand, and Light are his cantrips. He has Detect Magic, Disguise Self, Identify, Magic Missile, Sleep, and Shield. Oh, he's asleep. I think that we'll actually just, like, after we've gone on long enough, I think we're going to, like, tie up the wagon so that we can go on foot. I figured. And uh, you need to decide which spells does Tom have. Uh, last time he picked uh, shield and Who's magic shield? missiles. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah, that's what he picked. Yeah, he's just going to pick those. All right. Remember, you have two slots and two prepared spells. Ah. So he can use magic missile twice or shield twice. Or one of each. Or one of each. Hmm. Ah, hmm. Choices. Choices. I know what his defenses are, so I'll know if he, if he gets hit. And I'll be okay. using perception just in general terms. Also, his spell casting ability is uh, 14. His spell attack bonus is 4. Okay. So when you roll, it's plus 4. Holy his crap. 12. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, that actually is about as good as you can get at level 1. You can get with the plus 5. Alright, okay. so what are we doing? Actually, well, I'll be right you, here. As you come up the path... I think the orc and I should switch places, but yeah. As you come up the path, uh, in whatever order you happen to be in, you can keep your hitting within these these nine squares where you guys are. <laughs> uh, can you give me control of Tom Selleck? Oh, yeah. yeah. Is this a path, or is this, like, water right there? Where? Uh, that that is actually a shallow stream about. Uh... Ah, okay. Actually, let me see how deep it is. It's not very deep. Well, I'm just gonna have my shield at the ready with the long sword. I'm gonna belong right there, I think. Cause we're kind of going. It looks like we're kind of going at an angle. So I'm gonna go right there. Okay. You are at the cave mouth. Following the where's, goblin's trail, where's you this come across cave a mouth? large cave. The large cave is uh, where the stream goes into. Okay, so it's like a five-foot cave mouth? Yeah, it's... Uh, okay. Up there. Ah, okay. Oh, you can't see in there because there's, there's no light sources putting out light. It's a cave. Um, That's fine. Okay, you, you find uh, the large cave in the hillside. A shallow stream flows out of the cave mouth, and it's screened by dense briar thickets. That would be the tree-looking things. Those yeah. are actually thickets. Uh, they aren't, they're not they tall enough to obscure stuff, but you can still see a little bit. We can see through them? You can see through them enough that you can see those two goblins. So we know... Oh, so but they are not paying. But they are not paying any attention to you. Because on the east side of the stream, you can see... Well, let's see. Yeah, there are two goblins. I put my finger up to my mouth. They appear to be playing a three dragon ante. I put my finger up to my mouth to people. Oh, also, the thickets are obviously difficult terrain, and you can duck in them and be in, and you're pretty sure uh, it would be hard to see you if you're ducking around in them. How loud is this stream? Um, not terribly loud. It's about two feet deep, though, so you'd get, you'd get uh, wet. If you went through it, do I think that I could wade through it and be as quiet as a stream pretty easily? You'd have to try. I have to try. You you couldn't do it effortlessly. It it would take a little bit of effort. No, yeah, but I mean, like, 
It's can I? What? It's entirely possible for you to move through it without making very much noise. No so noise I'm... in the stream itself. Yes, you Just... would make less. You. It's entirely possible to go through without making any more noise than the stream already makes. Yeah. Hmm. I'm just going to pull out my crossbow. Yeah, I'm going to pull out my uh, my hand crossbow, and I'm unsheathing my rapier. Just so you know, uh, you would be shooting through the thickets. I'm not shooting yeah. anything, but I'm, I'm just pull... telling you. Zing okay. is going to disembark from the wagon. Oh, yeah, we're, not the wagon's just... yeah. we're not in the wagon. Or just forget the, the wagon. wagon. The wagon's yeah. somewhere down to the south. Okay. Of he's pointing to the the far back goblin and making a move with his hand like he's going to swing around behind them. And then with that, he will attempt to cross the stream into Black the... Blackjack nods. We're all being super quiet. Quieter than the stream, I hope. Zing is going to actually try to get here, if possible. As oh, stealthily oh, as possible. So you're going to move all the way through the thickets? Yes. And he will be super, super quiet. Super quiet. As Ridiculously he's doing quiet. That, also a lot of movement. And that's as, as he's doing that, I'd like to be right here the best I can. And like ready my crossbow to like just shoot it whenever I see them like maybe turn around or something. And I, I'm really looking at the back <clears> one. Okay, well, you, the distance you moved, I'll need one stealth check from you. One stealth check behind the bushes. Go! Okay. And now from you, you were here, I think? That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 15, 16, 17, 18 movement. Do you have 18 movement? I don't want to turn necessarily. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Yeah, something like that. Like eighteen. That's also a lot of movement. <laughs> that's, that's even more <laughs> movement. That's like twenty something. Movement. Yeah, but I think the stealth is based on number of squares moved or number of feet actually moved, regardless of terrain. It is, but he doesn't have that much movement. Send me oh, rolls so, so I got there's, If there's a time, then yeah, sure. But I'm I'm ready my crossbow. As much as he can in one turn, then I'll have to make his checks. Okay, it well, matters, it matters like that. My speed is six. Does he get any bonuses for the stream and then being in the bushies? He gets a, a bonus to his stealth, yes, but uh, it's still difficult terrain all the way. Yeah. So that's two movement per one square, so you can move six squares. Okay, so let's go ahead and just say that I move one, two, three, four, five, six on this on one turn. Okay. Okay, then make me two stealth checks. Okay, make another one. <laughs> Everybody. Everybody's on. I'm pointing at them like with my fingers. Like ah, I can't do any visual gestures. This is stupid. I messed up my uh, roll on the second one. It's it's okay. I mean I mean on the first one. I messed up my roll on the first one. Yeah, it's Excuse fine. So I am so left-handed, but I use my crossbow if, in my right if hand. If you will continue waiting, he can have another go. Are you going to continue waiting? Who me? Yes, you. Yeah, I'm I'm reading my action, waiting for the oh. goblin that I can see to be Yeah, they like, they aren't paying any attention to you guys. That's what that's when I'm pulling my trigger is when he's clearly caught off guard, let's okay. say. Okay. Then you um, can move the rest of your movement. Um wait, Lazarus Chris. said um um me and uh what's his name? Rex are writing our attacks too. Yes, I I saw you write that. Oh, okay. okay. I'm, and you see me, like, my, my scabbard has, or my sword has been sheathed for my scabbard, and I'm aiming, and I'm holding kind of my sword up a little bit. Oh. So they um, can, uh, those two guys can see it. Lazarus, if you want to use one of those, 
It is an action to prepare it and another action to put it down. The crossbow? The bear trap. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Oh, yeah, I know. That's okay. not what I'm... That was for something else. Oh, oh that, that was before. Okay. So uh, you can make the rest of your movement, Zang. Then make me one stealth check. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. He succeeds because he has a bonus because he's in the bushes. Okay, from where I'm at, can I take my sword, my short sword, and jam it straight into that goblin's neck? Yes, you can have a surprise round. Awesome. Which will actually trigger. Will it trigger my action? Yes, it will trigger your action. Yay! Will it trigger mine? Uh, what was your condition? It just says you're readying someone for the guy in the front. Yeah, like whenever like uh, blackjack fires, I fire. Okay, there you go. And you. Uh, that's a good idea. Well, actually, I would be dropping my sword, so you can guess because I raised my sword up. You would be able to guess that I would lower it down real fast because that's cool. Okay, so Zhang, you get to attack and initiate all the fun. All the fun. All the fun. All and you the fun. Have advantage i think yeah um yeah, i'm going to try to actually um cleave his head off with my short sword. make your roll oh wow what you can just roll once i i, I assume twice because of advantage no i mean you can do the roll all at once you can do both rolls at once. Oh, I thought I did. No, I mean, you did one roll, then you did another roll. You can do, um... You can do two of them at the same time, with the same enter button. Oh, you mean drop... Oh, yeah, because it's an advantage. I forgot. It's, uh, what is it? Like, K or... D? H1? Granted, it rolled the same, so that doesn't really advertise. It's just D. DL is the other one. DL is drop lowest. And then just D is drop. Or, or K, K1, I think, is also keep high. Okay. Well, anyway, um, there you go. That's what I rolled. Yeah, K, K1 is also just do that. Uh, yeah, you definitely, you indeed, you hit him. Um, is he dead or does he look surprised? Well, I need to know how much I need to know how much damage he did. I'm rolling test rolls to see if this this works for the record. How much damage did you do? Yes, it works. Number 2, only maximum. Oh, you com you you completely decapitated him. Can he's I dead. do the other one if he's surprised or am I Yes, you you get to go limited. First. You get to well. You which one were you attending only to attack? I was really my my action was specifically technically speaking to this guy, but I was just asking, is it okay if I just do either one? And if it's not okay, then I'm cool. But in any case, I'm dropping my sword regardless. Well, I'm going to. Yes, you can attack number one. Okay, cool. So. Let's see here. 2D that plus D this. And Shazam! Through the bushes! Whoa! Tuck! Uh, you hit him. Alright! Uh, 1D this plus this. It strikes in his shoulder, and he cries oh. out in pain. While I do that, I'm lowering my sword really, 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 and pointing that way. Did you like your sneak attack? Oh, I did not. You thank did you. Not oh, thank you. Um, here you go. Shazam, motherfucker. Oh, no. He is so dead. But I do lower my sword down as I do that. You other guys didn't even get to go. You yeah. took him down quickly and pretty dang silently. I take a quick sneak up to the side of this wall here. With my back to the wall. 
Um, I will quickly loot both courses. Uh, you find the standard goblin equipment we went over last time, and four gold. Uh, scimitar, shield, bow, uh, five arrows? Five arrows, leather armor, that's small. I checked the no, table ten, for anything. Ten arrows, ten arrows. Uh, oh, yeah, sitting on the table, there's another six gold, and a deck of uh, three dragon anti cards. I take the deck. I was say out of character. Get that shit. That's fucking awesome. Okay. I'll put my crossbow down and well, like unload it and pull out my shield and head over that way. You guys see me wave my uh, sword over here, and as I when I get done waving it, maybe three times, I sheathe it, and then I work on loading my crossbow real quick, and then I unsheathe uh... my sword. Who here has dark vision? Not, Not me. I guess I do. So orcs have dark vision? Half orcs have dark vision. Oh, uh, you, can, you can see that. Uh, yes, you can. You can. You can head forward as well. Oh, can you not control oh. yourself? He can't control himself. <laughs> he can't control himself. He's just crazy. There you go. Now you can control yourself. I think. Try, try to move yourself. There you go. Oh, there. bro. I forgot to give him permission to move himself. Give him permission. Okay, so from your angles, uh, half work, you can see that the stream runs up a bit. And in the distance, there appears to be like a opening on the left. And as for the dwarf, you can see there's an a door on the immediate right after it like just past where the light goes. There's a door to the left. Like an open open passageway to the left. I will shift one square or move one square to let the door closer if he needs to to see any better. And I tell him if you need to see better, you can step up. There's clearly I'm a door so right it. over there. I don't. I cannot see it. I'm sorry. Tom so Salt casts light on probably the fighter. Can uh, you? How far does light go? Is it five squares or ten. I can't remember. Zing says, can you not as you start to cast a spell? <laughs> it's funny. Too late, but it's funny. Yeah, he already cast it. It's it's it's, funny. It, it's casting time is an action, so he just basically reached out and poked him and he started glowing. It's it's Travis's character. Can we he not see know. shit? Yeah, we never it know. Is, it is twenty feet. Oh, 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 20 feet. That's four squares then, right? It's four squares of bright. And four I think that was too stupid even for Travis, to be completely honest. The thing I is, as no soon idea. as you said something, he would negate the spell. What? Oh. He'd make oh, he would drop it. So basically, anything in there that did see the light saw a flash of light. Yep. <laughs> <sighs> That's not necessarily a good thing, but not necessarily a bad thing. Zing just listens for a moment. It looks extremely. I will listen. Actually, um, he would listen. He can't see in, so he would listen, and he would like to know what he saw in that flash of light. Also, Blackjack would. Uh, what you saw in the flash of light is uh, what appeared to be some stone steps leading into a different room. Uh, you didn't see much into that. Steps up or steps down. Steps up. Like on and the like river, the hewn stone steps. They uh, they were not in it. And they were they were on ground next to the stream. Okay, and I'd like to roll perception to hear anything other than the river or my friends. All right, perception check. I would like to. No, you just roll by yourself. Okay. That was not intended to be a hint or anything. Well, you don't, you really pretty much, both of you just hear the stream. That's just me saying nobody has, I didn't say anything to ask for help or listen. Oh, then he yeah. would just make us enroll then. Yeah, all right, well, sure. whatever. Um, okay, then, uh, Sting would just go. Did you say Sting? Oh, Zing. said Zing would just go. Sorry, it sounds like Sting. <laughs> Zing. Okay, I'm but you can reveal, see him. I'm going to reveal some of the area in here. Wait, how far is your dart? 60 feet? Mm. 
it's still dark, so I'm literally just... If somebody's going in front of me, I'm hanging on to them. Yeah, it's still dark. You can't really see in here that well. Zing will actually whisper backwards. If we get involved in combat, um, go ahead and line him up. Otherwise, let's keep it quiet. That's really I can literally see nothing. Me too. Okay. But he was see. talking to uh, he was talking uh, to Tom Selleck over there. No, go back. Wait. Go back. There you are. Are any of you other guys going to move? Like I'm on hanging on to the dwarf in front of me. Shoulder or hand on shoulder. Trust in the dwarf. As you step in that square, splashing in the stream. Oh lord, here's a trap. It's a trap! They're not kobolds, though. You can hear growling emit from the room in front of you. Like over here. But that didn't work. Over here. Oh wow. That was cool. I I've never done the double blip before. Zing peers over there. Yeah, it was two of us. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Zing goes completely quiet and puts up a hand. To... I can't really see it. The growling continues. Can I see what's growling? Uh, actually, yes, you you can. Let's see. That. Half orc is kind of okay, like just Goblin. inside the cave mouth. You see some uneven stone steps leading up to a small, dank-looking chamber. Dank. And uh, you can actually smell a little bit. It's the smell of dirty animals. And of course, with the nice savage snarls and rattling chains that I forgot to mention. Uh, you boot your ears because they can see you and they're both looking at you. Actually, all three of them. There's three of them there. They're looking at you and they're growling at you. Three what? Uh, you don't know. I know I can't see him. I was it's, just... it's three wolves is what it is. I just like hearing the story. But they're wolves and they appear to be chained up. They are chained up. They, uh, You can see that the chains lead to a iron rod. Where is the iron rod? It's driven to the base of a stalagmite, and that's that. That would be, uh, no. I really shouldn't be on the reveal there. It's this... Thing right here that the big one in the middle that thing that that kind of circuit well that's the stalactite that little thing next to it on if that's slightly close to the wolf that thing yeah that is the uh thing driven into the stalactite uh uh you also see the society and dead rats and the dead person it's, not, does, it's no one you recognize does the dead person appear to be does it look like the wolves were like chewing on it? Uh, yes, it looks like he was put there for food. Zing goes, hmm. Just gonna... Judging by it, it looks like if you went in that room, the wolves could probably get to you. So he's got... Um, I'll be right back, he says to, uh, to, uh, Lazarus, and he will walk this way. And, uh, uh he will... I say he goes off into the dark. No, he walks into the back of the cave. He'll, uh, he'll, uh... Uh, get the oh, party's attention and go. Um, so there are three wolves in there, and they're making noise. And we just yeah. provided two fresh kills for them, so I was gonna feed the wolves to appease them and then just sneak by. Them. Are there uh, any qualms yeah. with this plan? No qualms oh. here. Okay, he'll grab one of the court, one of the uh, goblins. Oh, you, you do notice that the dead guy wasn't wearing armor. He'll grab one of the goblins, and he'll actually take the goblin's armor off. Uh, I'll he'll... grab the other one and bring it to the mouth of the cave for him. And okay. I'll just say, I can't see that far in, but I'll bring it here. That's cool. Uh, Zing will no. uh, go right here. Out to. Um, and yeah, sure. uh, he'll pitch the goblin corpse into yeah, the cave to, for, for the wolves to eat. Okay, roll an animal handling check. Animal handling. He's trying to throw it. He's trying to throw it to the wolves to feed them. Give me an animal handling check. I guess with smack it, him on the advantage. face with it. With, with advantage. <laughs> ah, I have to go use the restroom. This is funny. I think 
I'm the only person actually trained with animal handling. Well, you aren't the one throwing the goblin. I can't see in there, so. I don't think that worked right. You put plus KH1, that doesn't work. But you had advantage, so I'll count the bigger of those two numbers. And I know what the total would have been. Thanks. And, uh, they ch start chowing down on the goblin, and you notice they, they aren't paying much attention to you anymore. Okay. You think, well, you believe this is a good thing. Well, I'll give them the other goblin, um, and then uh, once we've got that settled, I'll nod to the wolf. We have reached an understanding, and uh, we I'll uh, instruct them to come on into the oh. cave. Hmm. You can see the rest of this cave since you were in there. And you know, I, I'm... You know, in the back, there's actually a fissure. So, there I'm just going to be bumbling back along. Back. This goes rather high back in the back back here. I, I'm actually... You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the smart... And when I come back, I'm actually going to say, Okay, look. Uh, hey, Dwarf, you can see right in here with no problem, right? Yep. Okay. Um, take up the back, uh, let's, like, hold hands really quick, just to keep things quiet, be very, very, very quiet, I'm gonna hold, um, Lazarus, Lazarus, hold on to, uh... Why don't we just have a fucking light? Because I wanna keep it quiet. This has been stealthy so far, let's just keep it going. Um, actually, my character says, when you guys are arguing, I says, I've been in places like this before. I do tend to agree with uh, Mr. Zhang, the half-orc. Um, I don't know if it's of any consequence, uh, but I do happen to have uh, a lantern with a hooded mask on it. Um, in case we do need it, I'm not recommending it at this moment, but in case we do need it, need it I'd just like everybody to know that. Duly noted, thank you. Okay. Well, um, before we head in... Let me do one thing. You guys go on in for a second, and I'll do something. And I instruct people to go past me. Okay. Good to go past you? Yeah, and I'm getting a bit That's of rush. That's fine. I'm following the dwarf. I'm just following the dwarf. And Tom Selleck I... is following me, I guess. Well, go up one, and stop I'll do this. this. Stop, stop right there for now. <laughs> you, aren't, you aren't in an encounter, but I have Can to you... describe things. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, first I need to describe the fissure in the room you're in. There's a narrow opening at that back part of that wall that goes about 30 feet up. Um, and you can see it, it looks like it's rubble and such. Uh, you would have noticed it. I had to tell you what it looks like. Okay, I wish I would have left numbers on this map. I took the numbers off because some of them were in the middle of rooms. Well, while you're in the middle of the okay, this that's why... is the this is the main passage of the cave with the stream in it. You can see in front of you there's some stairs on the ground. Why am I hiccuping? Oh. And you can see, well, actually, at this point, you can hear some uh, splashing forward on. Um, and there is a side passage to your uh, to your left that, uh, well, it, it'd be fun to go through there. It looks fairly steep. Let me go ahead and reveal what you can see of that. It looks like it would be a nice scramble going through there. But this is going fairly steeply upwards. These stairs over here, right in front of you. These are going fairly steep, fairly steeply upwards, and in front of you. Uh, well, you you can make it out in the dim, the dim light for you anyway, dim for you. Let me reveal this whole area because you can see it. You can make out a rickety looking bridge of wooden rope over the passage ahead of you. Uh, another passage appears to intersect it, which would be where the bridge, the ends of the bridge are. It's about 20 feet up. So that bridge is 20 feet above the ground right there, and these stairs are going up under it and up again back there. Zoom takes a breath. How steep is that incline? 
Uh, how steep is that incline? It actually doesn't say. Hmm. She says it climbs steeply upward. I'd say, uh, oh, right where you are? Okay. That's not a bad idea, as long as you, you know, maybe tell the others. Um, well, I would be, but they're all running ahead, so. Well, it goes upwards. I'd say each square is probably three or four feet up. It's fairly steep, especially where the stairs are. So you can see all the way up to, up to where the, the little rapids up here are. Up to where they like, like up here. Oh, that. That thing. That passage yeah. uh, is actually very steep. Um, this area right here, this is rubble down at the bottom. This is like a small cliff face almost, going up about 15 feet. So three squares up. It, it also looks very slippery. It might be possible to climb it if you're really lucky, but you probably end up making a bunch of noise. Okay. Fair enough. Um... Actually, I need Sing the navigator on land, in the sea, else, and underground. Or do anything else? I need to make a roll. Okay, that goblin has horrible, horrible stealth. You see, he sees her here. The top of the stairs. Yeah, he actually sees him. So okay. The goblin is super shitty at his job. He, uh, you can kind of see him up there. He actually does not see you. He's looking over ahead uh, to the to the east, across the bridge. He does not see you. Yeah, he's looking that way. You can see part of his square as far as. Zing uh, will whisper behind him, to whisper to the person behind him, and so on and so forth, making kind of a, a miniature game of telephone, uh, that there's a, a goblin ahead on top of a bridge. Um, and we should try to shoot him down. Well, you told that to the guy that has a fireball. He's going to throw a fireball. Well, he can't see him, can he? No, uh, he, he cannot He's see not him that dumb, though. He's not casting magic missile into the darkness, okay? He wouldn't do that. Yeah, I know well, I Travis would not cast magic missile into the darkness. And He's he actually, like he, Ross actually said he would tell them to tell the stuff going backwards. And he would. So the only people who can see it are Ross and the dwarf. Yes. Well, the dwarf didn't necessarily notice it, or maybe he didn't see it, but he's being told it. And he's seeing in context, so he'll probably see it when he's told it. Yeah, well, he knows where to look, he can see it. So everybody knows? Is that is that what it is? Everybody knows where that goblin yeah, everybody is? Everybody knows where that goblin is now. Okay, Unfortunately, I can't see it, so I can't do anything about it. I can't really it. confirm or deny yeah. anything. And how far up is he above the... Uh... You, you see... Uh, you see Blackjack kind of look up and around, because he can't really tell where he is, so he's he's still kind of relying on the footsteps in front of him of the dwarf. He's a little bit nervous, okay, but not so like scared. You can you can do things. Um. Well, um. Let me ask the question. Hey, can I whisper something to the dwarf in front of me, to the guy in front of him, to the guy in front of him, etc.? Yeah. All right. Um. I'm gonna whisper to the dwarf. Tell him to distract him. I've done this several times before. I pass on the message. Huh? He passes on the, the He passes on the message to Tom Selleck. Who passes it on to the half orc? Zing feels like that's a pretty fair idea. Um, a distraction. Good idea, actually. Um, he's going to pick up. Is there a fairly good rock nearby? Fairly well, good there's, rock. There's, well, how big do you want it? Um, about the size of a baseball, That's I would a say. Of those. 
There's plenty of those. A okay, classic gonna... rock trick. Okay, so he's going to take that rock and he's going to attempt to throw it. Um. Ooh, he's got a mean idea. He's going to attempt to throw <laughs> it uh, down like... Let's see. How high is the cavern for the characters who can see it? I feel like that's a relevant question. Uh, yes, I think. No, actually, I never actually said what it was. They have steeply sloped ceilings that create stalactite covered vaults rising 20 to 30 feet above the floor in most points. In, 20 and to around the bridge, it's through about 30 feet around that bridge. Okay, w what Zing's going to do, and this is a little ballsy, I'm not sure if it's a good idea just yet, but he's going to do it um, because he, I think I'll, he'll get a better angle doing it this way. He's going to take one step forward, so he's right here, and he's going to try to throw that rock directly, like, behind the goblin. Just, like, completely backwards. Up to try to get him, the goblin. Yeah, to try to get him or completely turned maybe around. Maybe past the legs? Which way are you doing it? Past the legs or up and over? Up and over. I think up and over is a safer thing. Like, Granny throw it a little bit. I have no idea. Doing so the lob. He, he's going to try to, like, basically bounce it down the corridor behind him. Just to make him think that it came from behind him. Okay, uh, give, since that is a very precise throw, give me a dexterity. Or, well... Acrobatics, dexterity. A question dexterity. for Tom Selleck. Does Tom Selleck go Just forward dexterity. any? I'm not controlling Tom Selleck. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just asking out loud. If the person that he's holding on to didn't tell him not to, he steps okay. forward. Okay. He will try to be quiet with whatever his spell is. He only moved one th one square. That is the best stuff. <laughs> Here's <laughs> my roll. <laughs> Shenanigans. I'm just I'm hanging on for dear life. This is gonna be fun, no matter what happens. You guys, I love you guys. <laughs> okay. Okay. So that rock. Flies and hits the wall right behind him and bounces and clatters Tink. down the corridor. Katunk, 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 katunk. Makes all sorts of racket. The goblin leaps up going, ah! Very confused. And he goes and looks for what made, what did that. <laughs> Out of the character, I have no idea. Okay. Oh yeah, you just, you just heard clatter and then a goblin go, ah! Okay, when when that happens, um I look a lot more aware all of a sudden. <laughs> Zing uh, the dwarf, I guess, cuz he can only see me. Damn. Zing will uh whisper back to Tom Selleck. <laughs> this is going to get so stupid. Uh <laughs> that's what he whispers. <laughs> just Zing's going to whisper back to him, um tell uh Jack to uncover the lantern and follow me or, and and follow us. <laughs> Because I don't think I don't think uh, that's gonna gonna be too bad if if he's just uncovering the lantern. That'll give you just enough light to move. So just follow. Let's go. Um, you know, tell it while he's being dragged along in the darkness. Okay. Well, I'm... he won't be dragging him because he assumes Tom Selleck has a brain. He's just like I'm gonna let go of your hand, okay? And just whisper this back at them and then follow. Just you'll have a little bit of light to move. He whispers it back and just goes. Okay. Well, it doesn't get to him first. First, it gets to Albrecht. Who then tells the other two because that's what he would do. Yep. Is he not here anymore? Did I miss something? No, he's here. here. He's here. He's oh, just okay. being quiet again. Okay. I'm waiting on him to move before I do anything. I don't think it's the right plan of action, so I don't reveal any light. I can change people's nicknames? Yeah, you can. Well, and if, you hear... if there's no light, uh, alternatively... Uh, um... And I, I'll i actually tell uh, d -d 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 Lazarus, like, you'll hear me whisper, like, come on, we're going, blah, blah, blah. 
Okay. And Tom Selleck will get pushed. He, I mean, the the dwarf sees uh, what's his name in a hurry. Zing, Zing will sees whisper whisper when, when he sees them lagging behind. Zing will whisper backwards. Uh, just follow the wall on your right. That was a way better way to do that. In yeah. God yeah. damn. It's okay. No worries. We're this fucking sneak attack, man. This is this is the assassin, uh, dude. So anyway, um, so we just keep going. We we keep going. I'll make whatever stealth checks I need to make. We'll keep going into the darkness. Well, uh, Lazarus will try to be quiet as well. Okay, you can see a couple, you know, it's slightly different now. There's two paths ahead. One that has the stream in it and one that has more stairs. It's a spiral, you guys. <laughs> Out of character. Oh, what the hell? I did. This is really fun. I really want to keep this going. That like, overpass. The stream bang, continues bang. up on another set of uneven steps ahead. Bending upward as it goes. A waterfall sounds out from a larger so ahead of you. slow. You can hear a waterfall very readily where you are, Mr. Half Work. Alright, so we're just following the wall on our right. I'm assuming that's that's what they're all doing, is they're they've got their hands out and they're just following the wall. So we're gonna keep doing it. As you get there, you would stop. You would definitely stop there. I'm just bumbling along in the back. Everyone can hear me. <laughs> clank, 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 clank. Let's see. Yeah, 60 feet makes it all the way. I'm gonna, uh, since you are also human, I'm gonna grab you and try to switch places with you and try to get you under the bridge. Because I'm assuming I do hear you a bunch. You see some more goblins. Is that legit? Uh, yeah, it's mostly all the armor. Okay, switch oh, switch squares. I'm trying to get you under that bridge. The stairs up ahead of you are steep, and you can make out that you can see the heads of the god, like the tops of their heads. That seems pretty cool. Like okay, just, see, just barely see the tops of their heads. Um, Zing will whisper back to Tom Sell. Get... <laughs> he doesn't see Tom Sell close enough to him. All right. Get Jack to the front. No. <laughs> back. Like, I'm not move. gonna... I the baby can't... chain happens. Tom's look dances. Dances. Look at him dance. They do the damn movement thing and tell people. And okay, he gets Jack back to me. Jack goes up to the front. I, I'm told to come up to the front, yeah? Yes. Okay, okay, I'm just checking with DM. So I come to here and I I listen very carefully. What what's up? Okay. Zing uh glances over to see if the goblins are still not paying attention. Is uh, there any light? There's still no light. One another. There's still no light, correct? Uh yeah, you still can't see anything. Okay. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Um and then uh, uh, first, uh, Zing will have uh, Jack get on the other side of him so he can talk to Tom Sell again. This is, please, I can't remember his name. I keep calling him that. Rex, it's me... Rex, his Rex, name is Rex, Rex, Black. Rex. Okay, Rex. So he talks to both of the black people at the same time. Exactly. There you and go. You got it. He, he goes, okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to start when I throw. Um, you'll, hear, you'll hear me, like, uh, just... Just when I when I go ahead and actually, you know what? Let's do it like this. Cast light on me, then I'll throw, and then Jack will shoot at the goblin, right? And then he points with his finger and like helps Jack kind of see exactly where he needs to aim in the darkness. <laughs> so they're both shooting at that goblin. Okay. Um, uh... Out of character, the uh, um. It'll be a difficult shot from where you are, Jack. No worries. I well, You'll have I have an opinion advantage. about that, but I don't really care enough. Um, I'm uh just wondering if the dwarf should be in front of the uh, the other human or not because of the lack of sneakiness of the other human. But anyway, because well, I well, the dwarf is probably should... just as lack of sneaky. 
Yeah, that's okay. Entirely I their choice. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I just remember for the for the record, I did tell him he should be under the bridge. Um, if he doesn't follow it, no worries. Doesn't hurt my feelings. If they want to go that way, that's up to them. Okay, so uh, so but the plan that you did say is you're gonna cast light. Yeah, cast light's light. gonna start the uh, surprise round, and in on that case, in that case, I'm going to you see me uh kind of sigh a little bit i put my crossbow in my like on my side or in my pocket or something i'm very lazy about this i haven't determined the, the mechanics of it yet but um i'll fidget with my lantern for a moment and then i put it back in my sack set it down put it back in my sack very carefully then i nod my head okay so whenever and i ready i i ready re-ready my crossbow with my sword <laughs> Uh, and my she uh bleh. my sword unsheathed and my crossbow at the ready. Actually, you know what? I've got even an, an even an even better idea. Um, cast light on this, and uh, he just put something oh. up to Tom Selleck's finger, <laughs> and doesn't tell him what it is. It just put he just puts it on Tom Selleck's finger what? and says, "Cast light on this." And then yes, when you so. when you cast light on this, we'll we'll start. And immediately after you cast so. light on it, I'm going to throw this dart at that goblin. Oh. That's also a difficult shot from where you are, but you can certainly try. You'll both be shooting at the same goblin. Yes, that's that's the plan. Okay. With with surprise, hopefully. Uh, yeah, you'll get surprise. So how do you do with advantage as a difficult shot? You have no you advantage have or disadvantage. You have neither. If, you, if Disadvantage and advantage cancel each other out. You just have okay. one goblin. So here we go. Why am I in front? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, we need to to have the slight description here. So he casts light. Then you are throwing the dart while Jack shoots the other goblin. He lines okay. the dart right above my crossbow bolt. Okay. Since you're attacked. Well, well, if you want to make it even funnier, uh, it's it's going in order. So the light hits. The second the light is cast, you real the uh, Tom Selk will realize that the light was cast on a dart. <laughs> the dart that is now lit up is thrown into the room at the goblin. Technically speaking, technically speaking, as he's realizing this, um, as he's realizing this, Blackjack is honing in the aim, releases fire in slow motion as uh, the half orc. Uh, turns, looks up the stairs, and throws it. The light going through the air at the goblin. I really hope my roll doesn't suck for this, because that would just make this not as fun, but okay, here we go. It doesn't matter, there's light everywhere now. Both of your attacks hit at the exact same time. Awesome! Oh, mine's not first, mine's really fast, though. It, it's better that way. Oh, let me tell you, this guy has three health. Either one of you hitting him kills him. Oh. Well, I kill him before Jazz. <laughs> no, I killed him. Like, I, I shoot him in the neck, man. So let me roll my roll here, and then I will show you how much I kill him. I kill him by that much, man. Oh, that much. Wow. <laughs> okay, so, so Blackjack, your, your bolt goes, rips out his entire throat. And in that swift action, I'm also, like, dropping it, but I'm making sure that I'm not dropping it in the wall. Dropping and, my crossbow. Um, Zang, your little dart, um, it just kind of lands in his forehead, sticking out. That's it's fine, as long as the room's lit up, you know? Oh, it's still lit up by that, yes. It's kind of motion. Actually. And I'm rolling initiative, because I am in battle. Yes, everyone needs to roll initiative. Not bad, not bad. I'll take it. Wow, that's actually really good. So what's everyone else's initiative? That's not bad. Okay, somebody needs to roll Rex's. And light is 20 squares, or? Light is four squares bright, four squares dim. Okay, so I would be able to... 12, okay. Essentially, see. I don't know uh, if he has the decks or not. Figures. Um, I think he has one, so I think it's the same as you. No, he has a two. He has a two. two? There was a discussion of it. All right. So then, 
I can see figures because those stalagmites may be a little bit in the way. Zang, did you roll a one? Mm-hmm. I was dismayed because of yeah, how ineffective the dart was. Yeah. <laughs> but at least I got oh, light shit. into the room. Out of character, we forgot to look for something in town that could hold some poison, man. That, uh, that was done on purpose. I didn't feel like messing with that right now. That was not... I was so wanting to do that. Ah, uh, That was not done on purpose for my end of the bargain or whatever. But anyways, that goblin is D-E-D -D dead. That's weird, Lazarus. I didn't like your name. You see, Blackjack swiftly let go of the uh, crossbow. Actually, he doesn't have to. There's no reason to. So he doesn't really drop it. He just hangs on to it. And he swiftly... Um, a non-mechanic... Or, yeah, non-games mechanically... He dashes up the stairs. Um, wait, what? Without without the game's mechanic, he doesn't actually dash. He just dashes up the stairs. That's that's my verb that I'm using. Oh, and you're surprised? No, I'm not surprised. Zing ma Zing makes a whack noise. Not just just like everyone else is gonna move past him just because he's just kind of like at a loss for what just happened. Well, um. I don't know why you're going before everyone. Who? You. I'm not. Then why are you saying you were running up the stairs? That's just what I'm doing. Oh, you're you're doing you're in the middle of doing that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, because it's it's. I haven't moved my piece yet. Okay. He's dead on the floor. Hey, that's a little light source kind of cool. With the light source sticking out of his head. And it is his turn. He saw what happened. He sees the light source. He saw where it came from, and he's going to shoot. try to shoot you. Through the stalagmite? Don't move. Down the stairs? He can see you. He has disadvantage. Very well. <laughs> Wait, are you arguing with the DM? No, I'm just keeping asking. I'm just raising my voice, asking questions, inflection, because it's fun. Uh, it kind of skitter. It actually hits the steps on the way down, and by the time it makes it to you, it just kind of just like rolls down the stairs. I step over it. Let's just. It, it's a. Uh, it's an arrow. Yeah, I'm stepping over it as I'm dashing up the stairs. And Lazarus gets to go next. Oh. Did not um, see you see Lazarus making a break for the stairs. Are the stairs difficult trying? Wait, I think I might have wrote down your initiative on watch check. I did. I wrote your initiative down. Just a second. Who? Okay, I flipped Lazarus and Blackjack. I don't oh, know right. That's that. what I thought. So I get to go? Yes, you get to go. Uh, Lazarus, you, you see, don't get to go yet. You see da uh, Dazerish. Um, Blackjack dashing up the stairs. Actually, uh, Blackjack delays his turn. Can we do that in 5th edition? You can. All right, I'm delaying my turn. I'm just hoping that other characters... You see him... Pause for a moment. Okay, you're delaying your turn. Leaning up the stairs. It looks like he's waiting for something. He's still being pretty quiet. Why does it say it's that? Who is this person? Oh. Oh, I don't know why did it do that. Because after uh, you blackjack delays your turn, it is Rex's turn. So whoever's playing Rex in combat, he how deep is the water? Four feet. Well, here it's four feet and moving fast. 
you can move through uh, ally squares as long as you don't stop yeah. them. He's not a jackass, and he's not going to go up as a wizard. I'm just In informing you. I'm not telling yeah. you. <laughs> well, he Arthur's assuming that you're meaning the worst. <laughs> he jumps in the water and immediately drowns. <laughs> he tries to throw a firebolt. Okay, from down there in the four feet of water, you cannot see the goblins. Oh, so well, basically, he gets down in the water and he finds out that he can't see the goblins from that angle, so he can keep yes. moving and doing. That's stuff. why I said he he can't see the goblins. You would not shoot the firebolt. Okay, so that's four. That's uh, let's see, it's three movement. Sorry. Just call Five. it six right there. Whatever. And he's just going to shoot him from here. I think he has enough movement to get to there. So who's he shooting? The guy in front. With? Firebolt. Firebolt! Right. Roll your plus four attack. It bounces off the stalactite and splashes fire around, but does nothing to the goblin. Oh. What's he see over here? Uh, it is bright light. It is. I mean... Within four squares, I think. Four. You see a passage. Within he four squares? Abilities says, well, the thing is he can't see there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm he sorry. See that, I guess. Okay, I'm um, sorry. No, my fault. My fault. <laughs> but uh, your deductive reasoning says that's probably a pathway to the bridge. Okay, well, that's the end of his turn. Because he did all his actions. And he missed, so I'm still delaying. Still delaying. Okay. Yep. Then, then it is. Then it is Lazarus's turn. You see him kind of wave. Uh, Blackjack is waving his sword. Like, hurry up. Oh yeah, you may. Yeah, you'll see him in the light doing that. He oh, gets wait. there. Wow! Wait! Wow! Wait a minute. Where were you? You were. That's here? one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, oh, yeah. three. I think that's exactly what he can move. Yeah. I can move five. Mm. One, two, three, four. Oh, I think that's six movement. Go ahead and make were... a dash. Make it a dash. You you were you oh wait, uh -huh. you, you were wait, were you there? I was no, here. Was... Yeah, you're there. That's one, two, one, three, two, four, five, six. That'd be six to get up past mm. it. He just gets here and does nothing then. That's fair enough. That's a, I'll I'll take my turn that's, after that. That's not, that's not, you're gonna take your turn then, okay? Yeah. Um, after he's there and I'm confident I have enough protection, you see him whoosh past the goblin and strike at his legs, sweeping action, etc. I have combat advantage, motherfuckers. You do? Yeah, because you're next to him. Oh, adjacent. D, um, drop one, right? Yeah, motherfucker! His legs come right off. You need, need to have spine area. Roll up. a D one hundred. Oh, that, that seems. Uh, you don't know what that's for. That's fair. It just seems convoluted. Okay, roll. Uh, how much damage did you do? I I did. Uh, oh no, you did enough. You fourteen. You did enough with that. Is fourteen enough? Yeah. No, I mean I'm sorry. Sixteen. Is sixteen damage enough? Well, let me look at what number nine is. That's what I mean. Like his his legs sliced right off, and he fell off. He That's fell down. Enough. Yeah, you you completely or, chop off his, his legs. His ankles slice. I sliced right through his ankles, leaving his feet, and he fell. You and I was very quiet comment. while I was doing it. What else do I see? Make a witty comment. What? We can make a witty comment. Nope. No? Okay. I'm quiet. Uh, okay, what do you see? Yeah. I'm just going to reveal the rest of this room. No witty comment. I don't know. I don't even know who said that. It was a whisper, but I was like, ah, that's kind of weird. I don't know if I revealed that. There we go. Oh, I mean, uh, you see, I don't oh, see yeah, four squares. Actually, I can't see four actually, squares. You can, but... uh, you, it's four, it's, uh, Four squares and four squares of dim light, so you can't actually see it. Oh, okay. What do I see um, down the hallway behind me, though? I'm I'm gonna get to that. Okay, cool, awesome. I don't mean to sound impatient. Sorry. 
Okay. I was more that, that's interested what you can see. in that. It's a hallway that's slightly okay, leading upwards. Yeah, okay. that makes sense because light's emanating from that direction. Okay, my turn's done. I'm. I got to describe the room that you can now see. Oh, okay. This is the. Where is it? The birthing room. No, it's not. Oh, <laughs> that, that sounds horrific, but no. Yeah. Okay. Well, I was like, I don't know why those pools are like that. Okay, but... this cavern is filled with two large pools of water. A narrow waterfall high in the eastern wall, which is right uh, there. Yeah. Feeds the pool, which drain. That's the waterfall you heard, which drains out of the western end of the chamber to form the stream. Basically, they, they dammed this uh, this waterfall yeah. here to do this, and it flows it's out of the cave and out below. Low field stone walls serve as dams holding the water in. A wide exit stands to the south, which is where those stairs are. And yep. there are two smaller passages leading west. Of course, you're standing in one of them, and you're in the and well, you're you're in one, and Tom's in the other. The sound of the waterfall echoes through the cavern, making it rather difficult to hear anything. Oh, okay, cool. We're super sneaky. They, they didn't really respond to you until you guys attacked him. Is that guy dead? Um, oh, he is now, yes. Very much so. Hooray! Uh, two dead goblins in that square. One fell on top of the other. And two, they're both on top of a pair of feet. Out of character. Let's keep this going, man. We're doing good. All I'm right. excited. So after I'll be right you, back. It's Albert's turn. All the right. dwarf I'm down on to. Can I move to here with my? I have twenty-five feet movement. Let's see, one, two, three. That's four movement. Okay, and then can I see that last goblin from where I'm at? Uh, no, Is he's that... behind this rather solid-looking piece of rock that I'm going to reveal real quick. That is a solid piece of rock there. Okay, then I don't think there's anything else I can do from here. You can dash and get up further ahead. Yeah, you can take another movement and get up there. Okay. Um, That's if you want to. You don't have to. I think I will. I'll dash up to... Uh, dash up to guard is the road. Space? Is there enough space here I can stand next to this rock? You would be squeezing. Uh, I'll just move up here then. Yeah, that'd be easier. Is squeezing a thing in D&D, 5th edition? Oh, actually, I, don't, I think it is. Let me look it up. It'll just keep going. I'll look it up for you. Don't worry. I'll look it up. Yes, it is a thing. It's, in, it's on page 192. Okay, so that was Albert's turn. He moved in to defend the rogue. Goblin 3's turn, finally. Goblin 3 is going to... He, he saw what happened. He sees this new guy. I look menacing. You look very menacing. <laughs> he, he's, uh... Yeah. He's gonna run. <laughs> Shit. Of you course. also hear more noises from up the stairs. Including some slightly deeper noises. Like maybe from things that aren't goblins. Okay, what next? Uh, then it is Zhang's turn, finally. Yay, um... Tell me how much movement I got for each move I'm gonna take here. Um... One... That's two. That's probably two from the stairs. So that's three, four, five, six. What do I see? Up to the stairs. This is a much better combat because it's like we've got so much control over the situation right now. Things. Let me describe the room for you. Sacks and crates of looted provisions. You can see in the back, they're piled up in the south end of the cave there, to the, to the, let's see. 
you can't see there. And now you're standing in the large down. natural opening there. to the north. And you see a rather large bonfire there. You also see a rather large creature standing at the bonfire. And, uh, of course, you can see those three goblins. That's Out of character, bonfire. what does Lazarus... Uh, what is Lazarus wielding? A longsword and a shield. And a shield? Um, okay, I'll look to Lazarus and I'll... And as he's going past us, I say, I'll get the dart. Okay. Yeah, there's a big old guy there and three goblins. I'm trying to remember what that is. I think that's a dead person. Okay. Um. So as I'm coming here... Why did I put a dead person there? I don't know. Maybe you just felt like it. Looks like a dead fox. We oh, no, that's it. not a fox. That's a wolf. Looks like a... And he's certainly not dead. Your mom's oh. a wolf. Actually, um... And the thing is, you know what they're doing right now, Zang? They're all what? looking at you. They're releasing the wolves! Releasing the crack... Uh, Blackjack. Um... Rex is just gonna look at you and be like, I can just put it somewhere else so that you guys can attack. I asked um, him, what? <laughs> it's a spell. <laughs> he can just walk and touch something else to give it light. Oh, I wasn't saying that to Rex. I was saying that to Lazarus, but yeah, okay. Rex overheard it. He's like right there. Uh, okay. I got I'll tell it. you what. Zing is... Does he have a really good line of sight on that goblin? Um... You can hit any any of those creatures. Well, the wolf you have disadvantage on. Because he's behind the fire. Can I charge? Yes. Okay, you know what? I'm going to fucking charge that guy. Oh, Lord. Here we go. <laughs> Let me reveal the rest of the room then, real quick. Well, at least he doesn't provoke from the first guy. Oh, he doesn't? No, nope. because you can move uh, as long oh, as you Jason. aren't out of their realm of influence, you're okay. Huh? Well, actually... Yeah, as long as you aren't moving out of their threat range. What the hell is that thing? It's a pop goblin or an orc? It's a bigger goblin. As I said, maybe it's something that ain't a goblin. Maybe it's a goblin? Maybe it's... There's a little <laughs> squeezy hole there we never saw. No, just a second while I sort by the new initiative. <laughs> Do we just get to keep our initiative? Cause that's oh yeah, really you guys simple. keep your initiative. I okay. just had to add the other creatures. Oh, okay. Cool. Do you pre-roll initiative? Because that's really cool if you do. I pre-roll monsters initiative, yeah. So all I have to do all is right. stick your stuff in. Sweet. So everything's ready now. Well, you are. That's my favorite. You are charging. Yeah, Zing uh, unsheath his short sword mid mid charge and will attempt to deliver it into that uh, Gabo skull. Oh, I need to number those goblins. Hey, since number one and two are dead, I can just use one and two again. How quaint. <sighs> Go ahead and destroy him. I think I like fifth edition a little better. I don't think that had the intended effect. Um, as you run up the stairs, you trip slightly your, uh, your sword barely missing him. Ta -ta -ta -ta. I use the momentum to kick his feet out from underneath. All right. I don't know if you can do that if you missed. Oh. I'm, I'm hmm. curious. How, how, what, what ability are you using to do this? My monk, monk class feature. Which, which, eh? It's in martial arts. Let me check to see if he can, actually. I, just, I don't know if he can do that when he misses like that. Oh, yeah, no. He used the attack action. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, I mean, just let Ross do it, you know, because well, I, I just he should know. It. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is that... Oh, that's your unarmed strike. Never mind. Yeah. I wasn't thinking about that. I forgot I forgot he was using... He was he, yeah, he was putting really a lot of flavor. So much flavor, yeah, you couldn't confusing. taste what it was. Okay, that's goblin number one. Ooh, you 
you definitely you break his arm. You break his arm by tripping. Oh, sorry. Him. <laughs> you, break his you break his leg. <laughs> and because you confuse oh. me, he falls prone. Oh yeah, confusion. All right, fair enough. Okay, now the initiative has been resorted. Sorry, Zang, you're still at the bottom. Zing growls at everything up there, intimidatingly. The wolf uh, growls right back. And comes to get you! Oh lord. Zing tries to feed it the goblin. <laughs> feed it the goblin. Give it the old goblin. Okay, um... Yeah, he knows exactly where you are. How much health does he have? Oh, that poor wolf. Okay, he re he uh, growls and charges you, biting at you. Well, that's interesting. I didn't realize it had to do that. Um, that hits you. Bum bum bum. Okay. He rolled a nineteen. Yeah, let's get on with it. We're all gonna die and have he fun. He bites you for seven piercing damage. Oof. Okay. Oof. And Oof. now you need to make a strength saving throw. Oh. Yeah. Okay. He, you 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 knocked the wolf off of you. Yep. Whew. Oh my. Of duty. <laughs> quick quick time event basically. Awesome. Ooh, that right. was gonna rip out your fucking throats. It, it totally was. Okay, Rex. One, two, two three. What wonders will you show us today? Call it wonders. Fun wonders. Can't see shit, so uh If only You can't make it to the you can't make it to that corner square there? Um, well, there you go. The lines of the light is uh over here. Yeah, but you can and he'll, cast he'll light. touch. He'll touch Rex from a uh, zing for light. Two, three, four. Three, I'd yeah. give him that light barely. You could have just picked up the dart and brought it with you, but okay. I was in the process, but he said he was going to cast new light. Okay, so I'm, I'm waiting. All right. He heel touch is probably there. okay. I didn't know he had heel touch. How does he do that? He doesn't have heel touch. He's casting a light. Oh, I thought he said heel touch. No. no. Oh, heel touch. He will touch. Yes. Ah, sorry. My mind was like, we need to heal him, and I was thinking. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, come on, Ike. No, I, that's I really what I thought. I heard he wasn't, like, that. healing him. I was like, okay. well, sweet. We've got to... Wizard that can heal people. That's is, pretty awesome. Cure that light wounds, motherfucker. Uh, that that's, yep, that's his entire turn. Okay, Blackjack. Blackjack. What does Blackjack do? You can, um, see. you can see. That's what you can do. And so I could, is, this is all dim light, so the light changed. Is that correct? No, the dart's still there. That's still bright. He put light on um, uh, Zang, so I'm pretty sure he can have two at once. You can have two at once? Pretty sure with that cantrip you can have to at once. Let me look. I don't know. I just need to know what what I saw because if it is two at once, I might leave the dart there. I guess if it's not, then I leave the dart there regardless. So it doesn't really matter. It actually doesn't specify. Huh? It lasts one hour. Anyway, you see me go this way, and I'm loading my uh oh shit balls. No, I, I didn't drop it. Doesn't. I didn't drop it because I didn't need to. I'm loading my crossbow as I'm going this way. Okay. And then I'm firing my crossbow at... Um, you have disadvantage on the wolf. I have disadvantage on the roll. On the wolf. Oh, on the wolf, yeah. I was thinking about... I'm going to aim at this guy right here. Number three. Yeah. Here we go. Um... My friend is right next to him. Shazam! Does that hit? Uh, 
it strikes the wall right next to the goblin. Ah, uh, dang, I miss. My turn is done. Okay, Lazarus. Are these stairs difficult terrain? Uh, yes, yes, they are. I dash here. I end my turn. All break. All breaked. Mr. Make Dragon. room, okay. my character says. Make room. Might be quiet. Hey, so I'm here. I'm role playing. We can't hear him I when he's talking. Healing word on Zhang. So there you go. Though. He is still quiet. He sounds like he got quieter. I keep trying to turn him up, and he keeps like getting quieter. I don't know what's going on. Uh, you had you just had healing word cast on you, Zhang. Okay. For that much. How much? Uh, oh, I need to set eight. Oh, for eight. Oh my God! All my health just came back, you guys. <laughs> yeah, very nice. If, if very you're nice. doing healing word on someone, you can just regular roll it because they need they need to see it. Uh, okay. It just makes it easier. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Ooh, so. This for oh, now it's Goblin Two's turn. Goblin Two is going to go around this way and get at you. He's going to try to stab at you with a scimitar. Which goblin? Number two. Which is where? The one that just moved. Yeah, that 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 one. I don't see one there. Well, there's a goblin there now. I, I see one down here. Yeah, he's a square above that now. Okay, what the goblin? Fuck? Well, the thing oh. is, is... Uh, he completely uh, did not successfully attack, so it's okay. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I was like, I see a goblin there. Oh, now I have to pick up this guy's stats. It's his turn. Where are you, Clark? Clark. That's a good name. Wait, I have to remember what he is. That's what light did. duration one hour casting time one action. Yeah, it just lasts an hour. Oh dang it! I wiggled the window and everything went away. <sighs> Stupid windows. The spell ends if you cast it again. Oh, it does say that as an action. Yeah. Oh, okay. So from for now future on... reference, yeah. No worries. Okay, yeah, full heal either way. That's like what we want to say. Okay. And it's about a section. You see, you see this uh, large creature. Well, he's medium sized, but he's pretty big for being medium sized. He pulls out a big old mace, or morning star, actually. However, however, he does not move from his position at the fire. And it's Goblin uh, One's turn. He stands back up. And as he stands up, he tries to shove you in the gut with his scimitar. He takes disadvantage because I put my shield in the way. She rolled the same number twice. A three. <laughs> so uh, he kind of stumbles a bit when standing up and completely misses you. It's completely ineffective. Okay, Zhang. It's up to you now. You have four it's, enemies against you. It's all up to you. Sure. Because I'm not doing anything at all. Okay, all of them... Um, I'm going to attack the one I attacked previously. Try to finish him off. Uh, short sword on that guy. Number one. No. Ah, oh, you hit him. Roll damage. I think it's... Yeah. Die, please. Just enough. It was actually more than enough, but I like saying just enough. 
He and, crumbles. And then Zing uh, bellows with a mighty yell, and fuck this wolf in particular. <laughs> he attempts to put his foot above the wolf's head and plow it into the ground. Axe kick. Axe kick. Roll Is that like kick. a move? That's his. Well, no. uh, it's his uh, uh, unarmed strike. Oh, okay. well, no, no, Zing like, What he described was. An axe what an axe kick. kick! Yeah. Oh yeah. What he described is an axe kick. Zing I shouldn't know if that was like a thing. Nah. Zing missed. But, but it, it it's pretty much not a thing anyway. Zing missed. Um. Mm, if I go into that corner, would I be squeezing? Which corner? The one right here. If yes. you go into that corner, you're taking like two opportunity attacks. It looks pretty squeezy and opportunity-ish. Yeah. Okay. Alright, that's still... Yeah, so I'll just sit where I am for now. We still have ranged attacks from behind you. Out of character. Okay, that's fine. And then, yeah. so I'll... You've got, got a guy defending you. I'll just I'll just stick where I'm at, and then um, I'm glad I took out at least one of the goblins. Yay! So you're actually about as safe as you can be because of who is behind you. Yeah, pretty much. I'm good. I'm good. Anyway. I'll I'll sit. I'll sit. I'm 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 snazzy. He doesn't know that. Well, he does know that because shields flying in. We we discussed strategy. Oh, yeah, We're good. Shield. Mr. Wolf is coming for you again with a bite. I'll throw my shield out. To dun, try dun, 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 deflect dun. Them. Like all these guys have plus four to hit. What? Ah, oh, oh, he bites That's your all. shield. That's all okay. And like, I'm not, his turn. I'm not as worried as I was during the first combat. I told you that was probably going to be the hardest encounter. Uh, Rex is going to light this guy up. Go for it. <sighs> roll again. Oh man, I wish I got to roll again. You you don't. No. Especially you. You really don't like what he just did. Because he shot you. Me what? or... Me or like... Uh... You. The... Okay. <laughs> you shot you. <laughs> Oh no! I am immolated and half dead. Actually, over half dead. <laughs> you accidentally stepped forward and uh, got right in the way of his firebolt. <laughs> I am screaming in agony. Ah! <laughs> he was like, damn it, that was full uh, power! <laughs> full power! <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I feel weird being the only one who's laughing at this. There uh, have burn I'm heal. Laughing, I'm laughing on the inside. <laughs> well, I mean, if you got hit by that, you'd be dying right now. I would be laughing. Okay, Blackjack. <laughs> Blackjack, he's gonna like, lower his crossbow and then shoot and then take like all the steps back, basically. Um... He's shooting at the same one he missed before, but he's still got uh, combat. Uh, is it called combat advantage? Or what's it called? It's just called advantage. Okay, he's got advantage, whatever. Shazam! Oh, good lord, he missed. You strike the exact same place in the wall. And he moves back. Okay, done. Turn done. There's a small crack in the wall now there. Lazarus. And he's reloading. Well, Lazarus is going to be used on his second win to not be near dead. Can we do that? Only he can. I can. Okay. <laughs> I was only fighters sure. can do that. Like, I'm still in fourth edition. Yeah. He's the only one of us who can do that. Well, one of you who can do that. <laughs> I can second win all day long. Well, that was painful. And I'm going to just stab that goblin. And you use that as a bonus action. So. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, you I... really hit that goblin. So how dead is the goblin? Because he doesn't have very much health left. That much? That, that much is dead. enough. It is sufficiently dead. He had eight health. You hit him for eight damage. 
and I shall move into position. The thing is, when you move there, the bigger, the big, the big old thing that you still aren't sure what it is, uh-huh. he, grins at, he grins at you. He grins at you. Eh. Yeah. He has sharp teeth. Eh. That's Don't the end care. Of... Okay, Albright. Albright. You're gonna, I keep wanting to call you Albright for some reason, and I know that's not how that's pronounced. You could totally get in here. We got a spot for you. The squeezy spot? No, he's not squeezing. He can just no, walk straight not. past me. He's oh, just yeah. taking flanking, but he's right. not co- he's not provoking any attacks. He could walk into that and kill the goblin. Or the wolf. Well, yeah, all that's what I'll do. Which one? The goblin or the wolf? The goblin. The goblin. <laughs> Taking a showing better, better. Oh, by, by the way, Mike, I don't think that you actually get advantage. Oh, then I'll check it real quick. Cause... I'm believing you guys because you know just as much as I well, do. Well, yeah. <laughs> you, you just get to deal your sneak attack, but you don't have advantage. Oh, hmm. I'll check. Just to confirm, because I may be wrong. It was like the last paragraph or so. Uh, don't worry about it. I'll just read the whole thing, just because that's what I do. Regardless of what you say. Ooh, but I, you pummel him. If you're uncertain, then it creates uncer- enough uncertainty that I'm going to look and confirm. Uh, let's see here. Shay Living, blah, blah, blah. You guys have proficiency of damage, too, right? Uh, no. Yeah, you, yeah what, what? For damage, you don't add proficiency. No, okay. no, no, no. I, I like the fact it's that uh, the damage difference between strikers and all the other characters, quote unquote, is a lot less in fifth edition. Guess, guess how much health he had. Was Two? it three? He had three health. He did three damage. Bet. And also, Ross, that technically isn't true. Ah. It just becomes very big later on. That's annoyingly confusing. Wait, what are you talking about? Uh, the damage difference between strikers and not. Because later on I get four attacks compared to someone else's one. Yeah. With a crap ton of damage. Sneak attack damage. Okay, so just so you know, basically this is really confusing. So anytime I have combat advantage, I get sneak attack. But I don't need advantage if somebody is within five feet of it. If you have, if you if someone's within five feet of your target, you my friend you use your sneak attack damage. But I don't have I don't automatically get sneak I don't automatically get combat advantage. I thought that's a, that's what it meant, so I've been doing it wrong. But that's anyway. Cool. I'll be fixing it, yeah. It wasn't the last paragraph, but yeah. Who's turn? Uh, Albert just went, so it is Clark's turn. Mister, you don't know what he is. He moves forward. Can he speak common? Oh, he can. He says, hello. And then he waves his morning star at your face. <laughs> I walk with my shield. He just says, hello. You successfully block his morning star with your shield. I feel like that was a good thing. Waiting for a turn, waiting for a turn. Zang. Is the fire pit actually out right now? No, no, it's lit. That's annoying. You can throw someone in the fire. (laughs) I I was thinking of that. I think he was too, but I don't know. Um, The hot coals in a fire pit. Hmm. How how would I throw someone in the fire? By the you way, you slap it. You slap it with your scabbard or whatever you're carrying. You just like four pow right into it's the. It's a 
it's not an attack action, but it's a push action or bull rush. Yeah, but that's how you do it. You slap it with the the haft of your sword or the flat of your sword. Boom. Like the golf swing. <laughs> 